Hey, hello, hi, welcome in everyone. Uh, it is another Monday, the 19th of February, 2024. Um, we are back once again with more Breath of Fire 4. I'm very excited to continue this. Uh, before I get going with anything specific, uh, username already did the redeem. Welcome in, by the way, username and Rocket Bubble. Hope you both well. Um, today, good news. I think, generally speaking, the poop today was actually really good. I'm not sure what grade to give it. I feel like I want to give it an 8. But I think I'm, like, low-balling it. I think my overall experience wasn't so good, but that was on me because I just sat there for longer than I needed to. But it was one of those deals where, like, I just didn't believe I was done. But apparently I was. There. Yeah, basically. So I feel like I'm going to have to give it a 9. If I was to be, like, really, you know, picky about it, maybe like an 8.9 or some shit like that. But I'm in a good mood. Let's just say 9, innit? Hand-to-hand <laughs> -hand combat with a puppy. Yeah, we have puppy here today. Which is something else I think I wanted to mention too. So, uh, usually Puppy leaves us before I start streaming, but today they're a little bit busy. So we have Puppy a little bit longer. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I'm just gonna wing it. And then when Puppy leaves, I don't know when that is, maybe within an hour or two or whatever. I will take a short break as I wash up and just get changed a little bit, because I have different clothes right now. I'm doing alright. I had a 7 myself, bit painful, but with good volume and no cleanup. Nice! Mine was also minimal cleanup, basically. Uh, volume maybe was lacking, but, like, you know, everything else was just so good, I don't want to complain about it, so I'm, I'm going to keep it as a 9 for now. Life is hard enough as it is, maybe we all have bowel movement. I'm not sick, Bubble, right now, like, I'm feeling okay, but the pollen level here has been exceptionally high, and so my sinuses <clears throat> and my throat haven't been great. Um, I feel like my sinuses, particularly the last couple of days, have been really, like, clogged up and stuff. But I'm not, like, no temperature, no fever, no cough particularly. It's just, you know, seasonal bullshit. It's a pain in the ass, but, you know, it is what it is. Ugh, our men using him. Oh, yours is fucked up too? Are you sick? Or is it, like, pollen stuff where you are as well? Usually I'm not too sensitive to pollen. I mean, not as much as spec is usually anyway. But, um, when I went to Japan, I had a hard time. Um, I guess it depends on the... Um, well, I guess it depends on the pollen in it, like the trees and shit, wherever you are. In Japan, in the islands, I remember that was the first time I really had severe allergies because they have a type of tree there, which I guess I wasn't used to. Um, in Macedonia, it's not as bad. Like, I still get congested and I'm blocked right, right now, right? Like, I can feel it. I can kind of hear it in my tone of voice. Um, but it's not the worst thing to ever happen. As in, it's just not as bad as, you know, how it is in Japan. Now that I've experienced, like, al bad allergies in Japan, like, the type that, you know, just make you sneeze uncontrollably and make your eyes water and shit. Like, what I'm feeling right now is a complete downgrade. But it is one of those things that, like, if you, if you deal with it long enough during even just that one day, like, I always end up getting headaches and feeling a bit cranky. It just makes everything a little bit harder, you know what I mean? It's like symptoms of cold. It's bull. Uh, the ENT doctor says, I need surgery, birth defect that needs to be uh, repaired, and something inflamed and enlarged in my nose. Oh, right. Not sure what to do, even though the doctor says I will have to do it sooner or later. Better to do it earlier for better recovery and a smaller surgery. Stuff like that, username. It's funny that you mentioned that. Like, firstly, I hope whatever you decide to do, it goes well, of course, right? And I know that any surgery around that area is always one of those... Um, slight pain in the ass thing is where it takes a while to recover. So I, I wish you, whatever you decide to do, a speedy recovery and operation and stuff. Um, my, I remember my cousin had a similar deal, and I also have something in one side of the nostril. I forget any of the terminology or the jargon that goes into defining what it is that I have difficulties with, but it is something to do with one side of my nose doesn't breathe as well as the other. And in normal day-to-day -day operations, if I don't have sinus issues going on with, like, you know, pollution or um, allergies, I can breathe fine, you know? But as soon as there's agitation or I'm sick and, like, it, uh, it gets inflamed, as you mentioned, like, it gets inflamed or agitated or whatnot, then I can get some issues. So it's, it's one of those deals where I might have to do something eventually as well, like my cousin did, where he had an operation on his nose as well. Um, I've been told that as long as I can breathe and sleep with, sleep with, like, through my, breathing through my nose while I'm sleeping, it's fine. But that if I wanted to do surgery, it is an option as well. I'm sick, uh, right now, but just a runny nose and sore throat. I hope you get well uh, soon, Rocket Bubble. 
Is it like early onset thingy or are you deep into it? Whatever it is, I hope you get better soon, dude. Appreciate the kindness. I know it's routine and all, but I'm scared things could go wrong. Yeah, of, of course. Uh, and I don't, and I never want to demean that username. There's a reason why we think those things, because things do sometimes go wrong, right? But rest assured, these are professionals, and you know, they've been studying this for however many things of their life. So, hey, Tools, welcome in. Hey, Stumper, welcome in. So the overwhelming majority chance is things will go absolutely fine. It'll be the for the betterment, I hope. Uh, unrelated, do you still have your tonsils? I do, Bubble. They, I, I know this because they get flared up whenever I get sick, and there's been numerous times where I've considered doing something about it, but lately they haven't been an issue. Like, the past, how, maybe, like, half a decade, I've had no issues with it. But when I was younger, they did flare up a lot. <laughs> uh, definitely get re uh, recommend getting checked out by Doctor. Oh, for sure. How you doing, Stumpen? Good to see you, buddy. And you two tolls. <laughs> Uh, where, where's the new mug? Hey, the last mug needs to stay on for at least a week, Tolls. That's the rules. That's the fucking rules, and you know it. This is gonna be stumping until at least a week. And then even then, even then, motherfucker, only when I have the next mug ready. And I'm very tempted to make the next mug. This is not even a lie. Just one of those takeout paper cups. <laughs> I was Googling, like, a bunch of different things. Like, like, coffee containers, basically, right? Like, various coffee containers. I was like, you know what? A fucking... One of those little uh, paper cups that you take out with, like, you know, an extra little paper or, like, that little cardboard thing that you wrap around it because it's hot. That would kind of look cute. And I could use a font that's a bit scribbly. Anyway, that's one of the things I'm considering. Welcome in, my, my cheap otter friend. My fellow otter. <laughs> it's in the early stages, got you, Bubble. <laughs> the Mug King is here, so he is. Why get a new one when the old one is so handsome? Oh, look at you. With your own name. How was, How was your day yesterday? It was good. I uh, I was drawing some... I'm preparing... Uh, apologies for anyone sat here on the screen wanting to see more of Breath of Fire 4. Um, I've got half an eye on the dog right now. There's a puppy running around and half an eye in the chat, and I just want to catch up and keep up. Um... I'm, I'm working on an overlay for drawing. I don't know if I'm going to get it done today after stream or maybe at some point tomorrow during the day. But if all goes well, I would like to stream some art tomorrow. I could also, um, I'm sure no one would mind, I would. I could also just stream me working on the overlay. I don't think anyone would, would mind that. Just to hang out, do some work. Um, stuff like that. But yeah, well rested otherwise for sure. You best get drawing, boy. I could do some of that tomorrow, I guess. I've been told I am an otter, actually. Oh, yeah? So have I, weirdly enough. Oh, that's a good idea. You could do it a bit like the Starbucks one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you spell people's names wrong. Oh, my God, totally. I had the same idea. I was saying to Spec as well, what if people just, like, redeem it and I spell the name a bit wrong? But then I thought that might be a bit... I don't know. Because the whole point is to showcase the person's name. I don't know if it'll be more funny or more offensive. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what line I'm walking there. <laughs> but it's a fun idea. I'm too hairy for a twink and not beefy enough for a bear. Oh, is that how that works? Art stream, love that. Hey, appreciate it, Bubble. All right, let's play some Breath of Fire 4 too. I hope everyone else is well, by the way. Hope your week is going well. Hope everyone's excited for next week for Final Fantasy. I am. The Imperial troops are here too. Oh, so for the last time, for the people who weren't here, right? We're playing Breath of Fire 4. Uh, we, uh, right now we have these two characters, Nina on the right, Ryu on the left. Ryu is the protagonist, but R Nina really is a, the protagonist as well. Um, we were trying to get a part for our sand flyer um, from this, like, uh, shady merchant fella. And I think we went back to the city and, like, the Imperial army is there, so we had to fuck off. And now they're chasing us, and we're trying to head back to Kray, which is Nina's guardian, and we just found out that she's a princess from Windea. Um, and Ryu has amnesia, because, you know, JRPG, I guess, I don't know. Jeez, welcome in, buddy. How you doing, man? Straighten with a tofu. God damn it. Zendaya? <laughs> you what? <laughs> when did I say Zendaya? Funny and offensive. Perfect. Yeah, I guess that would be something, wouldn't it? I, I said Windea, didn't I? Windea. Nina from Windea. Not, not from Zendaya. <laughs> I guess we could wreck on it. Not too bad. Uh, still just jump hunting. I hope, it, uh, I hope it goes well, buddy. Remember, it's partly a numbers game. Just keep chucking them out. Or stick at some point. What are we going to do? We can't go back and we can't go on either. Hey, you there. Oh, this is the merchant that we helped out in a jam, I think, earlier on. They said uh, they was gonna try and cut you off. 
one up, uh, one on up ahead. Luckily, you didn't get caught yourselves. Yes, still. They've cut off our way out of here. Hmm. You got a point there. Tell you what. Seeing as you all helped me out back there, I want to try and return the favor. Let me see. Maybe if you took that road, you could get past them. Yeah, that's it. You can get to the desert that way. You mean, there's another road? Well, it's kind of out of the way, but if you head north, go up to this big town called Chamba, you can get to the desert that way. Really? Oh, thank you. That means I can get back to where my friend is waiting. We'll try that route you mentioned. Thank you again so much. No problem. Just keep your head low and try not to get caught, eh? Alright, I guess we're off to Chamba. I did think it was a bit early uh, for us to get Cray back on the team. Spider Tofu? Oh, I kind of like it. Spider Foo, Spider Foo. There's whatever a spider do. God damn it, something just dropping the lyrics. Hey, Pebbles, welcome in, buddy. Uh, Breath of Fire 4 isn't real. It doesn't exist. Absolutely. Welcome back to my my pitch, my PowerPoint presentation for a video game that I've coined called Breath of Fire 4. I'm hoping people get really into it and it becomes a thing. <laughs> ba bars, balas, basa. <laughs> look in it. <laughs> Have a good look, Stumpin. How are you doing, by the way, Pebbles? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you as well. We are off to Chamba. You been in Chamba recently? Have you been to Chamba recently? Oh, whoa, we're already here. Hmm, I thought this town was bigger than this. Oh my god, look at that thing on the right hand side. What is up with its mouth? Uh, let's see if we can find someone who can help us. I love how this game, um, like small details, like how they flip the character who's in lead. At any point, you can. Ooh, wrong button. Sorry, it's been a week. I need to remember the buttons again. I think square is menu. So at any point, I could change the order of the characters, I think, through status or change. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so the rank in order. So I could make Ryu the person in the lead and control Ryu directly. And sometimes that's beneficial because they have different actions. Like you saw how Nina flew up into the air a little bit, right? So you can get better lay of the land. Uh, which helps mitigate some of the random encounters, if you can see where you're going. Um, but the story dictates, like, who is in the lead, which I think is really cool by default, I mean. So, like, Nina was leading the way because she's familiar with the terrain, and Ryu is, you know, he's got amnesia. But there was another point in the game where I think she left your party temporarily to have a fight, and Ryu came in to save her, and upon exiting, he was in the lead. So I find little touches like that really cool, and something I didn't remember, actually. Love Chamba! I assume that's how it's spelled. Absolutely. The mug hit 20k already? It did cheese. Stumpin is the mug king uh, 3.0. Uh, I mean, 2. Is it 2.0? No, 3.0. Yeah, it is. The third mug king. Uh, the third British person to take it as well. So the next mug king will start up again uh, in minimum of a week's time. So I guess, when was it that we did it? Was it Friday? Thursday, Friday? Because it was during Kingdom Hearts, I think, right? I think I want to say Thursday, Friday. So... I'll have the next one ready sometime by the end of this week, hopefully. And I'm kind of leaning towards um, takeout coffee uh, coffee cup is what I'm leaning towards. Kind of digging that idea. The more I think about it now, I'm like, actually, that would be a fun little addition. Uh, I, I want them all to look kind of unique. Because I remember Googling. Because the thing is, I have to have space in the center for the name, right? So only the silhouette of the mug can really change. I can't really do anything too bespoke with the design of it on itself on the face of it because you know that's where the name goes so there's only going to be so many bloody mugs or containers i'm going to call them containers <clears throat> second favorite tourist location after spagonia <laughs> i do recommend checking out spagonia first though you know you get to know the locals in spagonia and then you can survive chamber everyone is all out working they have left me to keep an eye on the zings. Are you looking for some zing? I am looking for some zing. How did he know? Uh, we have a bowie knife, a sage's staff, a leather arm, a brass arm. Okay, so I don't know if this is one of those games where um, you find your equipment out and about. I'm going to say it's one of those games where we're going to find equipment out and about. But if it's cheap enough, I'll buy stuff as well. You know what I mean? I'm not above that. 
I don't have any ammonia, which is like the revival thing, I think. This is like the phoenix down. Uh, panacea, yeah, cures ailments. I got bugger all, haven't I? I don't even have any healing herbs. I think that's what we should buy. Uh, just a warning again, I have a puppy here. We have a small beagle, less than three month old puppy just running around and now it's next to me on the couch. I'm getting a little bit nervous because it's the first time we have a mic in front of it and I'm talking a lot and it's very excited that I'm talking. It's super excited that I'm talking. Oh, she's exploring now. She's such a curious little doggo. Her nose is always on the ground sniffing, looking for something. It's another doggo. Oh, that dog must sense my dog. That's Spec, by the way, not the dog. Guess the dog is nipping. Pretty sure she's teething. Oh, this is interesting. Rug on rug. I wonder if there's transparency on this thingy, or if it's just designed that way. It was Friday, because I was working from home. Understood, thanks, Stills. So then earliest would be Friday, but probably the weekend. Because I do plan to stream more this week, so I'm not going to have as much time. But I could dedicate one of the streams for designing the, the next Mug King as well. So that might be fun. Uh, Starbucks logo with text around it uh, being the name. Yeah, it would definitely be the text around it. And the, the logo, I could just like do my own spin on it. You know, do my own kind of thing. But I think the color could like, look nice. You know? Dog cam is great. I know, I know. I got to sort that out. Stumped at a dog cam. And it was really wonderful. Ah, I should probably get a dog cam, I guess. Oh, She's getting tired as well, I can notice it. Whoa, what the fuck? She usually naps around this time. She has the hiccups. She has the hiccups? Oh. We will put pictures in the Discord. Ooh. Oh, she's on me. <laughs> Hi. Oh, okay, she's just deciding to make herself comfortable on me. He does have the hiccups, you're right. Trying to throw up some of the... The food? Oh, that's no, fine. Some of the oh, she ate some paper? Oh, that's wonderful. I get him mic'd up. Uh, what, he got, what he got to say? <laughs> does she have a name yet? Babushka. Babushka? Okay, it's a she, and she's called Babushka. Which was not what I expected there to call. What does Babushka mean? Other than, like... It sounds like someone's about to drop a beat. My grandpa's... It means grandma? Yeah? Oh. Hey, babushka. That's, that's funny, because ushka proofing. means ears. Oh, uh, ushka means big ears? Oh, I guess. Oh! Oh god, oh god! Oh no, oh god. That, 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 oh that my god. excited her. That excited her? Why did that redeem excite her so much? She just got up and ran off? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, let me let me stand up the hook spec. I've never seen her react like that. It wasn't even that loud. Oh my god, maybe it was the pitch. Oh, oh god, that scared me a little bit. <clears throat> oh, we should have a pet redeem for her, yeah. But then I, sh I, I always just pet her anyway when she's on me, so I don't want to make it monet monetized. I do want to for some sort of the wife, not the dog. yeah yeah monetize the wife not the dog <laughs> they love bottle yeah clearly <laughs> i'm studying under him so i can take over the business someday yeah i apologize people i know me just verbalizing what the dog's doing is not ideal given that this is a live stream with just fucking video game um, but yeah, we're taking care of her longer than usual today. It's the first time I'm streaming with her around. Generally speaking, she, she gets handed off before I start streaming. And who might you be? Hello there, um, I was wondering. This is Chamba, isn't it? What kind of a question is that? Of course this is Chamba! Well, uh, a part of it, at least. Most of the town is still polluted. By the hex and can't be used. Hex? You've heard about the towns all over the place where hex were hexed during the war, haven't you? Uh, yes. I guess so. I I I think this is showing a little bit of Nina being a bit of a shut-in. If I remember right, she's kind of been protected by the castle walls most of her life, and the only reason why she's out and about and just to remind people 
the quest is to find her sister, uh, Ilana. Yeah. All you need to know is that ordinary folk like you can't go anywhere near some place that's been hexed. It's too dangerous. If you need to go to Chamber for something, you'll have to wait until the hex is gone. And, um, looks like everyone's come back. Yeah, I love the design of these people. So they're wearing some clothes and masks and stuff and, like, gear, armor, basically, to deal with the hex. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I love their design. We've got another early start tomorrow. So make sure you get some sleep. All right, now, get out of here. Those folks that just come back are a group of purifiers. They go from town to town purifying them of hexes. So if we want to find out more about the hex, we should ask them, right? Thank you for your help. Yeah, I think they alluded that there was a war that happened. I can't remember between who. And um, the hex was some sort of weapon that they used. Oh, now I'm controlling Ryu. And his, uh, his special attack is to swipe. In the older game, this was used to, like, cut bushes and, like, pilfer people. There we go. Stole a zenny of that man. Didn't even see me coming. I love the designs of these characters. They're so cool. Well, now, uh, we don't get many visitors here. I'm the leader of this bunch. My name's Tab. We're just about to sit down to supper. So whatever it is, it'll have to wait until after that. We'll go and explore the town we'll wait here. I'll explore a little bit more. I'm pretty sure this is the way we're going to progress the game. Uh, the story, sorry. I just want to check if we can speak to the other people. The hex the Empire makes is like this black mist. And there's all sorts of nasty stuff like wraiths and specters inside of it. Even the smallest exposure to it, without protection, is lethal. Way I figure it, the Hex is like someone talking bad about you. I mean, when someone says something bad, you don't feel it too good, right? So a Hex is like that, except lots more powerful, see? I don't think a Hex is anything like that, for sure. <laughs> I don't think I'm convinced. This ain't a place for women and children. Don't you know it's been hexed? Yeah, that's what we are. We are women and children right now. Alright, so found a little bit more about the hex. I think I'm satisfied. <clears throat> Why she look like she's straining for a poo? Hey, Clawful! Welcome in! Good to see you. I hope the cat worked. If it did not, I'll run one for you too. Thanks for waiting. Now, what can I, what can I do for you? I guess it is a little bit of a straining, straining look, yeah. We need to get through Chamber. Is there any way we can do that before the Hex disappears? Nope, afraid not. There's a lot of negative energy bound up in that mist. You need special armor just to go inside. Oh, look, we're explaining. I figure it'll be at least another year before we can get rid of the Hex completely and get Chamber back to normal. Good God, a year. That's crazy. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Listen, Clawful. <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> Clawful? Yeah, so like, um... Yo, William! Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sorry, Clawful. I was following chat's instruction. It was Lonnie's fault. There we go. That's it. It's neither mine or Pebble's fault. I know what you're thinking. We were the ones with the controller in our hands, yeah? But that doesn't make everything our fault. That just makes most things our fault. You might be happy to know that your death mentally broke me. This is true. We, we couldn't move for like a good half hour afterwards, Clawful. We were both in tears. Yep. Honestly, we haven't recovered since. Exactly. We, we were absolute hot mess. Like, the hottest of messes. We took clothes off and everything. Yeah. <sighs> you will be missed, though, Clawful. And by the way, it's good to see you, Clawful. I hope you will. Thank you again, William, for the follow-up. Much appreciated, buddy. 
So, um, it's going to take a year to get rid of this hex, and we don't have that kind of time. Still, if you absolutely have to get through now, there might be a way. You could ask one of my workers here if they'd be willing to guide you through. So all we need is a guide then. Yep. Alright. And look, it's switched back. Nina's now the person in charge. I don't know why, I really like that detail. They didn't have to do it. I wouldn't have noticed otherwise. And they even spun the camera. I'll spin it back. <laughs> Will you help us through? You want someone to take you inside the hexed area? Forget it. Without armor, you'd be dead in minutes. I don't want to have to be responsible for that. Alright, yeah, okay. Maybe this guy will help us. I know it's our job to clean up hex places, but... I don't think I want to take anyone else inside there. Yeah, honestly, the way that people are describing the hex, I don't blame any of these people. I wonder if it's true what they say. About the hex being full of ghosts and stuff. The Hex attacks people with their fears and other negative emotions. Since everyone's afraid of something, we have to wear special armor to go near it. <clears throat> I actually don't recall having to wear special armor, so I wonder how the game explains it. Of course, the Hex in the other town was pretty bad too. You mean Sinesta? Well, yeah, I mean, they're right on the border, right? We're learning more about different places. You want to go through the hexed area? Why? Is there some reason you can't go around Chamba? Yep, asking the real questions. There is a reason. I don't think anyone else was in here, right? I like this area. Can we put something in here? No, okay. Uh, Cultus had a full-on hold my hand to get me out of there. Clawful will be missed. We're a reliable octopus clawful was. Yeah, it's true. Your clawful was pretty beefy. Yo, I love this series. Nice to see people playing it. Hey, likewise, William. I'm a big fan of the Breath of Fire games. I've not played all of them, mind. Um, number three and number four. I grew up with both of those games and I absolutely adore them. I'm not an expert at it, so I'm not going to know all the things to do. Like, I don't know where all the masters are. I don't know who to tie to what masters. Um, I know there's some missable things. I know there's a lead ball side mission that I always fuck up. But I really enjoy these games, and I think this one in particular, and 3 as well to an extent, um, they hold up incredibly well. Oh, got a war update? I think I'm very close to Platinum Trophy. Hey, nice! I need to go back and do that. I Platinum the 2018 one, Tulls, but I never did Ragnarok. I'm just looking forward to my ghost haunting you both now. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Clawful. That's fair. <laughs> Oh, I want to see whether or not we can trigger just going through the door. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop talking to me, sir. No, we can't. We have to find someone. I know what happens. I just don't know what to trigger it. Uh, maybe we can go back in and ask him if there's anyone else. Or maybe we need to go to the inn and talk to people there. But don't look at me. It's too dangerous to take ordinary folk in there. I won't do it. All right, well, he's not going to do it. Please don't. I don't deserve it. Oh, It's just a little haunty, you know? I think hauntings, generally speaking, Pebbles, have got a, they've got a rough name. The idea that, like, someone past that we care about comes back just to hang out with us, you know? Well, there are some places where the hex is getting thin and wearing off. Nah, forget it. It's too dangerous. Oh, that's interesting. So he was considering guiding us, but then he was like, nah, we can't. You want to go through the hex without any armor? Are you kidding? You wouldn't last five seconds in there. All right, well, he's not going to do it either. If you want to sleep, I can let you use one of these beds. Nah, not, not just yet, buddy. I don't think this is such a merchant, any. Uh, I don't have the armor for the hex. Look at that. Even the trade, the merchant dude, is talking about our mission right now. It's kind of cool. I never noticed his attention to detail. <clears throat> Are we good? Okay, what was it? Okay. I think so. The internet wasn't pulled, was it? No, I think I'm still streaming. We're good. Ah, that's my hair! That's my hair! Goodbye! Take care, doggo! Love you! Oh, great. Now my hand's wet. That's great. That's, that's great, innit? I love getting my hand wetter than making my controller wet. 
Oh boy. Why do you insist on licking everything? Uh, I have two big fights left. Uh, Gna and the Berserker King, then a couple of bits um, of, of lots in Midgard. All of the realms are 100%. Nicely done, Tolls. In the 2018 one, um, I knew they had the uh, the Valkyrie challenges, which was really hard, but they're really fun. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Oh. Well, have you found anyone who will guide you? Nah, bro, we found no one. That's what I thought. It's just too dangerous to take unprotected, inexperienced people inside. But we have no other choice. We can't use any of the other roads. Oh, here we go. I don't know why you can't, but I think I can guess why. I mean, why else would anyone come here? Still. Would it be possible to borrow some armor from you? Sorry, afraid not. I mean, we needed to do our jobs, you know? Even if I did give you some armor, you'd still need someone to gu help guide you. The mist in there is so thick, you can barely see your hand in front of your face. Not to mention the fact that the streets are like a maze. As if that weren't enough, the place is full of ghosts, spectres, and other monsters. I mean, we're just lucky they don't smash down that wall and attack us right now as it is. I have returned, boss. It's you, Urshin. Don't do that, you scared the wits out of me. If you were surprised by that, you will you will be even more surprised in a moment. Uh yeah, whatever. Um, this is Urshin. She works with us, but uh to be honest, she's a little odd. Incorrect. Urshin is not odd. Urshan is saying she will guide these two. Uh, uh, what? Are you out of your mind? What would you do if something happens? Nothing will happen. Everything will be alright. Urshan says everything will be alright. So everything will be alright. If Urshan says everything will be alright, it will be. For she is never wrong. It will be all right, because Urshan is always right. This sounds like someone we all know, doesn't it? <clears throat> okay, okay, I get the idea. Fine, do whatever you want. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this helps us. Do not thank me. You should thank Urshan. <laughs> thank you, Urshan. <laughs> Urshan joins your party. Okay, so this is Urshan. <laughs> uh, this is a great party member. And I love the backstory and everything to do with this with this creature. I'm gonna call it affectionately. Oop, wrong button. Uh, was it a button to like switch? Oh, there we go. You can press the triggers to switch characters. So you can control different people. So her um, special attack is like a headbutt. Just so good. We can just go around headbutting people. Hey, we got two Zenny from him. Also, if you hold circle to run, check this out. Oh my god, I love this character. Okay, we have Urshin now. Uh, where do we go? I guess we should start making our way. I um, I remember being a young kid playing this, and I felt like this area took forever because, you know, I was a kid and I kept getting lost and I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Also, Clawful, apologies if I didn't ask how you were. I hope you're well. hope things are good in the Clawful Nation. Or at least I hope that they're better than, you know, what's happening in the, uh, the Nuzlocke Nation. Ooh, chest. Healing herb, okay. I might buy that weapon, but we have to head back to uh, camp anyway. There's no way I'm going to do this in one run. Here we go, okay. 
Now I have a party of three. I need to remember how to do stuff. Urshin is a heavy hitter. Um, she has very low AP, I remember that. So she's not really a magic user. Um, risky shot, I remember that. Yes, we just fucking hit these things. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I know it, it says gasser. Uh, I should also use the square button to hover an enemy. This monster uses chlorine against its enemies. I think that's something I can learn. Because it's highlighted in blue. So I'm going to kill one of these and then observe the other one. We're so close to town that I feel like if I fuck up, we'll be fine. I should save before we get deeper into here, though. That's another thing I forgot about. Uh, gathering evil energy. Fantastic. Eh? Love Ocean. All right, uh, I'm gonna guard against this one in anticipation to learning this move. It was covered in poison. That's not good. Hurt. I don't know what causes him to um, do the move, the chlorine move. There we go. I think Ryu learned it. Lucky that miss. We should get some antidotes then, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So Ryu has chlorine. Is it? Here we go. Attack versus one poisons enemy. Fantastic. Uh, since I'm heading back to town to save, let's see if we can do a combo. So it was uh, fire, sever, uh, and then let's see if we can stick a risky shot at the end of that. Getting very lucky with those. Bang! <laughs> Fire wind. Okay, so I think I tried to explain this poorly last time, and I'll try to do it again. This game has a magic combo system. So what that means is you can string... If you, if you have a, a string of different magic spells, depending on what they are and which order they go off on, they can augment one another. So I did a fire magic spell. Um, Nina did a wind one after me. But because the fire one was beforehand... It augmented the wind one and made it a fire wind, like it combined both elements basically. And it changed its properties. So instead of it being just purely wind based and on one target, it was like a, a fire and wind, I guess. And it was an AoE. It damaged, it, it would have damaged everyone if there was more than one enemy. I was great until I found out about my death. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. that yeah, that happened, didn't it? <laughs> I was there. We were both very sad. I'm sorry, Clawful. I'm good, thanks. Tired, but happy. That's good. Is Puppy still around? Puppy just left. Uh, that's why I was getting licked. The puppy was leaving us, uh, so I was getting... Yeah, I was getting the farewell licks, so to speak. I will miss that octopus. Me too. Is that why I heard Spec exclaiming about her hair? That's correct, yes. I'm, I'm so glad that caught up on the mic. Uh, yes. Uh, Puppy was biting Specs hair. Puppy has got into a really um, cushy role of biting Spec a lot. I've squealed multiple times of being bitten, so I think Puppy does not like biting me anymore to the same extent. You know, I don't think I'm crazy uh, attached to many of my mons, but Clawful was one of them. Clawful was definitely a good stable for you. That fucking octopus knew how to do fire blast or something. I don't know what it was that you gave that one. It was a fire move. It was insane. I don't know who I, I used to get rid of that. Um, me and Fu. I don't remember. But maybe it was a maybe it was a Klefki because Klefki would have had a fairy attack, and that would have been super effective. Oh, yeah, okay. That symbol means that this enemy comes in confused. And you can manipulate confusion to an extent. Uh, healing magic deals damage to undead creatures such as these. Yeah, I forgot about that too. Oh, man, this game is good. Uh, we're just going to charge at this thing. <clears throat> just one of them. Hey! Hiya! Hiya! Ushin is so good! Uh, this is Urshin. You will respect Urshin. Spec, Spec is meeting Urshin for the first time. You and Urshin have a lot in common. Uh, it's a she? 
And uh, she could probably make pizza. We'll have to ask Urshan. Well, this place is like a maze. The, the hex is the purple goop underneath. You can see it there, right? So, like, we're on the rooftops, and the scaffolding, I think, was made by them. By the purifiers. Ban! I remember as a kid, like, experimenting with different magic things and having random effects occur and being so psyched about it. Ah, so Risky Shot here didn't link with those previous two abilities. Not everything links together, I think. So I might need to rearrange the order, perhaps? I'm not sure. I, I wish I was, I was more knowledgeable about this game, because I feel like there's a lot of intricacies to do with it. Um, and, you know, I, I just played it as a kid. <laughs> So like I don't I don't know much about like the the mechanics other than just how they work. I don't know how to manipulate them or take advantage or make anything broken or anything like that. I'm definitely gonna be struggling my way through some of these boss encounters because I remember doing so when I was a kid. <clears throat> Alright, these two again. Let me try starting with Urshin. I don't think this is gonna work. Fun! Ah. Oh, it does work. So here, Risky Shot starts the combo, and then we go into Burn. And then Fire Wind at the end. So if I wanted to use the, the three abilities that my characters currently have to have them link, that's the order that I would have to do them in. I would have preferred having Risky Shot towards the back end, because I think, depending on the order, it, um, it buffs the next one in sequence, and Risky Shot hasn't got the best accuracy, I think. Oh, thank you, Purbles. Yeah, I think you're right, Kiki. Just portion tanked it uh, until it couldn't kick anymore. That's what it was. It was like high jump kick or whatever attack, right? And then Kiki like one shot at it. Oh man, I should probably switch to. Oh, hello, Dory B. Ah, right. How fucking PlayStation 1 JRPG dungeon layout does this look to you? I am told that it would be best if we split up here. Urshan will go down and walk through the mist. Urshan says the two of you should move using the rooftops. Um, are you sure we'll be able to make it across if we do? Urshan is certain you will. Move Ryu and Nina together while moving Urshan separately. Okay. You can switch between them using the select button. Alright. I don't remember this. I guess here we are. What does the sign say? Switch between... Oh, right, right, right. I definitely want that chest. You see that chest, right? I see the chest. So we want to use Urshan down here. Yeah. Because Urshan has armor. So this is the misty area. Right. Let's see. Then if I switch... Can we go across here yet? No. The characters cannot jump unless it's a, yeah, unless it's like a, a gap like that. I would like to get that item. I, I don't like switching characters in, in situations like this. Ah, bollocks. Oh wait, this is good. This is what I need to do. And then Urshan can pass through here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Would like to see if there's any way to get on this. Oh, there is. Let's get this first. You know, this per third person speaking does remind me of Spec. Yep. There'll be other things further on that happen. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's, there's a backstory to Urshan which I really enjoyed. <clears throat> What are we doing here? Oh, I see. Ooh! This looks manipulable bubble. There is another lever on the upper level. 
She needs you to go there and turn it. Do you understand? Oh, fuck, okay. Alright, and exactly how are we going to do that from here? Um... I don't know how to... Get, will I have to pull Urshin back to be... On, oh, I know what I need to do. So I need to get them across first. So Urshin needs to be on top of that. So it doesn't go down. Assumably that Urshin's heavier than them too. I see. If Urshin stands on this one, the other will not lower. Allowing you to pass, correct? Let's try that again. Hey, welcome in, Cap. How you doing? Good to see you, buddy. I see you have successfully made it through. Do you see the valve over there? She says that you must go there now. You mean over where that lever is, right? Okay. Uh, I had breath of fire cause after eating a spicy Italian with lots of peppers. Hey, <laughs> how you doing, Cap? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, had a nice one today. Must have gotten more fiber. Came out clean. Oh, wonderful. Uh, I had a good one too, though I, I can't say fiber had anything to do with it. I think actually, and I don't want to jinx it. Uh, let me take a drink as I do it. I've been sleeping rather well. By my standards, I mean. <clears throat> Which is to say that I've slept every night for some hours. Alright, and now we are Urshin. It will seem there is another valve on this level. It would appear Urshin must uh, go to it and turn it. Yeah, yeah. Let's -a go! What should we do, Urshin? I am told that if both valves are open simultaneously, it will thin the mist somewhat. That means we'll be able to get through it, right? Apparently so. Let us begin. One, two, three. Nailed it. It seems that the mist will only recede for a brief time. I believe that means we should hurry. God, I love Urshan. <clears throat> uh, I should have posted my dinner from last night. Hey, what was it? You mentioned it's full of fiber. <clears throat> I guess we can't go this way. Have a look. <clears throat> Yeah, I see a house to the right, but I think that's just decoration. The music in this area is so eerie. Did anyone else hear that strange sound? The hex is anger and fear. A person's hatred given form. She says it is to be expected that strange noises will emanate from it. Ah, oh, bollocks. That's definitely a boss. She also says that as long as it only sounds, we have nothing to fear. Come, let us continue. Ah, oh, now Urshan's leading the way. Oh god, you can see it. <laughs> oh god. I remember as a kid, I was here for like forever, um, farming. So I feel like this is going to go really badly and we're going to die. So I might need to farm a little bit. What? what was that? The malevolent energy of the Hex has coalesced it into a physical form. Urshin says it is extremely dangerous. <laughs> if it's dangerous, why are you laughing? <clears throat> Shouldn't we be getting out of here? I've got my sinuses. Forgive me, um, pollen is very high today. I'm going to blow my nose. Oh. Oh my god. Way more came out of my nose than I was expecting. Did some of it get on my glasses? Oh my god, some of it's on my glasses. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. 
Oh, a lot of mercy. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Ah. Oh. It's redneck fancy? Oh, let me check it out. Oh god, while I wipe the rest of this off my fingers. Good lord. That tissue did nothing to protect me. Ah. Oh. Oh. This is what everyone wants to hear. Um, where am I going? Good. Oh, I see it. Let me pull this up. That looks like, what, fried fish? What kind of vegetable is that? It looks a bit like potatoes. Oh, I can't pull it up. My, my setup is a little bit different here, I think. Hang on. Let me see if I can move it over there. If this works, I hope it works. If it doesn't work, I apologize. No, that didn't work. I have to use it with this thing. Yeah, hopefully that works. I don't see it because it's pulling from the monitor that I'm using this to cover. Looks good, Cap. Traumatic... What was that? Traumatic... Uh... Halibut? What the fuck is a halibut? Uh, that's what just jumped out of the water. Yep. Uh-huh. Our puppy's gone now and I feel kind of sad. I like puppy. I like having a puppy in the house. Ugh. Shouldn't we be getting out of here? Apparently so. It would appear it was an error. I should not have laughed at that juncture. <laughs> <laughs> Very well then. Let us flee. Okay, now we're switched over to Nina. Can I go down there now? Yeah, anything around here? Uh-oh. It would appear it is following us. Urshan suggests that we should run. Oh god. Press the circle button rapidly to run. Okay. Tapping. Whew. Good. We made it. Uh oh. Or maybe not. Son of a bitch. Oh god, that's one ugly fish. Oh. A oh, hailbutt is a fish. Gotta head back to work, catch you later. Have a good one, Cap. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Female Rod? What the fuck, Pemps? Aka <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that was good for the soul. I needed that. Alright, I guess we should hit this thing. Oh, let me inspect it. Uses poison and confusion attacks. Choose your equipment carefully. Ah, oh, fuck. I feel like that was a hint. Yeah, let's start with a risky shot. Into a burn. Uh, into sever, and then I'm gonna go into dragon form. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't buy- I didn't buy any things, did I? I went back and I didn't buy anything. Damn it, Ryu's poisoned. Yeah. Miss, cool. That's an expression. Yeah. All right. Um. Purify you. Uh, let's turn into a dragon. I guess that's all you have. Just attack. She does not have much AP. If she keeps, if I keep using her that way. All right, let's go. I think it's the first time I'm turning into uh, his dragon form. There he is.
Okay, I think if I die in dragon form, I will revert back when it comes to HP. But every turn, more AP is taken to sustain the form that he's in. Ooh, I wonder if I can blind it. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, magic barrier halved for three turns. Magic damage half, sorry. Revert form. What? And flame strike. Okay. I think that's it. There's no um, special dragon attack? I thought there would be. Maybe we'll get that later on, I guess. I don't feel like attacking this thing with a poison attack. I don't think that would be a good idea, so we just hit it with fire. Oh, this Lynx? That's crazy. I wasn't even thinking about this. Ah, the special effect didn't work on that one. I wonder why. Wow, this is not going well. This is not going well. Okay, uh, let me think. If I link... This into this, will that work? Oh wait, we should start with Urshin then. Into this, into this, yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't know he had Confuse. That's not good, that's probably not good. Oh, I missed, oh thank heavens. Appreciate the little clawful. Hiya! God damn it. Probably gonna revert now. Yep. Okay, his HP is back, but he's lost AP. Yep. I wonder if guarding brings AP back. I know if I put them in the back, um, if I bench them, they'll get some back, but I can't bench anyone unless I think I have enough party members. Can I try this again? Give it one more go. I assume I can't blind it because it's a boss, you know? Yeah. I do wish I had something like Pilfer, something to steal, but I guess we can't. Gotta put her on healing duty, another one of those, and she's dead. She does more damage than Ryu does. Uh oh. That sounds like he's gonna get healed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have the items to sustain what's going to happen to me here. That does so much damage. It'd be great if this doesn't hit anyone. Oh, you yeah. know. Never mind. Hiya! Okay, who does the least damage? I feel like it's probably Ryu. Yeah, 49 is not great, is it? So I might put Ryu on healing duty. I wonder if, like Pokemon, the um, poison has other effects, or like ailments have other effects, like halving damage output or making them slower or some shit. Oh, not again. Come on, dude, I just, I just, I just. <clears throat> All right, that's good at least.
Actually, do I have any... Oh, he's poisoned, isn't he? Of course he is. Uh, do I have any... Um, loss of our life restores 20 HP to 1 can cure. Got fish. Oh, some of this stuff does give AP. Do I give it to her or to give it to Ryu? Hang on. Who should I give it to? Hmm. I feel like giving it to Ryu so it would go back dragon form. But it wouldn't sustain much of a dragon form though, would it? Um, but then he could burn, which might do more damage. Let's try it. Oh, can I heal this fish, you think? Like, because it's a dead fish, right? So if it did like a magic healy spell, would it actually damage it? I wonder. Eh? Oh, she needs healing. Nope, never mind. It's good. Oh, we did it. Huh. God, how bad was I as a kid playing this game? <laughs> like, I remember having to farm before fighting this thing. We just waltzed here and it was fine. Uh, yeah, you remember things weirdly, I guess, you know, when it's a long time ago, I guess, as a kid. Hey, Bok, welcome in, buddy. Good to see you, man. How you doing? Did you learn Barrier? That would have been handy. Stay in the hex where you belong, fish. The malice contained in the hex cannot be easily dissipated. Even if it has been struck down, it will slowly grow larger within the area affected by the hex until it is strong enough to reform. At least, this is what Urshan says. Oh fuck, does that mean we're about to fight it again? I don't know why, but I feel sad for some reason. This hex, it's horrible, isn't it? It was humans who created the hex. Urshan says, you get what you deserve. Whoa. We must move on. Use the ladder there. Damn. Okay, there's a way there. Anything over there? Doesn't look like it. Doing great, thanks. Hey, That's good, Bok. I hope you continue to do well. Thank you very much for helping us. Without you, we never would have been able to do it. If you wish to thank anyone, you should thank Urshin. Thank you, Urshin. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, yes, well, I'm afraid we don't have anything we can give you right now, but... Nothing of a material nature is required. Urshan says she will. She wishes to accompany that man. You mean Ryu? Apparently so. Uh, I see. Well, we need to get back to where Kray is waiting. The sooner the better, if I know him. He's probably getting really worried by now. Okay, well, Urshan is officially on the team. Uh, is it Pebs or Pebs? Huh. Huh. That's a good question. Is it Pebs or Pebs? Uh, do you mean just in written form or like just saying it? I think for written form, I like the 1B. But there's nothing wrong with an extra B in there, you know what I mean? I don't think I found any masters yet, have I? Uh, see, I'm a 2B kind of guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Written. I don't know. I think I would write it with 1B. But again, if I saw it with 2Bs, I wouldn't, like, be like, oh, what's 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 going on here? Like, it's not, it's not incorrect. It really is just preference in this case. It just looks uh, off with 1B in my eyes. I think I'm okay with it. Because the whole thing about, like, you're just making it shorter with a 1B is just to keep it shorter, right? Like, spec, sometimes, instead of... Uh, 
S P E C K. S P E K is fine. But I do like the the two B kind of guy. It's good. A lot of people are two B kind of guys. That's unrelated. I don't know. I feel like it's incredibly related. <clears throat> oh, we made it back. Cray! Oh. Uh oh, he's shaking his head. Nina, am I glad to see you? I was beginning to worry that something had happened. Oh, she's crying. I'm sorry, Cray. I. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, Cray, this is Ryu and Urshin. Hmm. Why don't you sit down and tell me all about what happened, hmm? I like Cray. Cray's cool. I see. So, in the end, I wasn't able to get the parts we need. And if it hadn't been for Ryu and Urshin, I probably wouldn't have made it back at all. Don't worry about the parts. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. I never should have let you go off by yourself. Oh, Cray. Urshin is saying that it appears as if your sandflyer was damaged by a dragon. That's right. How do you know that? It would appear that Urshan can sense such things. Oh, look at Urshan's feet! Look at the feet! Urshan is very sleepy. I'm sorry, you must be tired after your journey. Well, I just want to thank you all for what you've done for Nina. As you can see, I can't offer much in the way of style, but you're welcome to spend the night here. Interesting. I like the fact that Cray's talking as if, oh yeah, hey, you can spend the night here because there's no intention for him to keep them on the team, you know? Like, why would they? That night I had a dream. Oh god, I don't remember this. Oh, what? This is it. This is the place they're holding Alina. Yes. It's just like Ryu's dream showed us. Right? Don't get your hopes up too much. We still need to find her. Let's go. Oh man, I completely forgot about this part. Uh, I get the point in shot on it for sure, but it just looks more pebbly with two Bs to me. That's a good point. It does look more pebbly. I agree with that sentiment 100%. Ooh, bollocks, I didn't mean to rest, I just wanted to save. We should have at least two saves going, I reckon, just in case. Uh, did you know the username Pebs on Twitch was taken literally only a month ago? What? I could have had Pebs. Huh, that's wild. I just didn't check. How sad is that? That's kind of wild. I don't fully believe that that could not have already been taken. That's wild, dude. Huh. Or just Peb on its own, no S. A single Peb. Not plural. <laughs> Is that one take? Can you just be peb? Emphasis in the b. Prom, 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 prom. This is locked, right? I don't think Cray has an action. No, I'm pressing triangle. He's not doing anything. It was random encounters in my dream. It's kind of fucked up. Blind. Okay, hang on. What does Cray have? Checked and speed. Just buffs? He only has buffs? That's interesting. 
increase the all speed. Hit them with the burn. Hit them with the sever. Always with poison. Maybe I should have put that on the end of the show. Oh fuck, these things go down quickly. Never mind. I wonder why Sever didn't link. Huh. There are quirks to do with this um, magic combo that I've completely forgotten. I should probably read up on it. Now that I have the power of the internet. I'd like to know how it actually functions beyond just like what I, what I picked up as a kid. Ooh. Aurum. That's the item used for switching abilities around that you learn on the field. Stairs there. What's this way? Nothing, I guess. Uh, it might have been freed up recently and then snatched. Yeah. Do they have that kind of system? I do approve of that. Like if someone deactivates their account or something like that, right? They're all unavailable, even pebbies. Oh my god. What about purbles? You tell me purbles doesn't exist? Oh, that's a cool looking thing. Uh, a star next to the damage means the attack was absorbed by its armor. Cool. Uh, let's hit it. Absorb this. I oh, did. Well. Wild Swing. I don't think that's something I can learn. It sounds familiar. Okay, we need to do some... We need to do some magic. That does so much damage. Yeah, magic bypasses the defense. Or physical defense, anyway. It's out! Tell me about it, Pebs. Every variation of Bok I can come up with is taken. Fuck. Yo, Bok, what were some of the variations that you were thinking of? Just out of curiosity. Six months of no activity and such, and supposedly they freed up the name. Uh, but I don't think they honor that very much, gotcha. Or well, there's just a lot of people holding names for potential money out there. That's why I assume, right? Like, that's kind of what people do with URLs as well. Here, and here, another arm. Cool. Somebody's coming. What then is the status of the sacrifice? It continues to grow, Lord Yuna. Excellent. I am greatly pleased. Blast! They'll see us. If we walk behind the curtain slowly enough, we should be able to get to the other side without being seen. Okay. I also wanted to see, wasn't there like a way down here? Oh, we're on the other side. Alright. That's cute. I understand why you can lock the camera in only very specific locations, you know? Given the kind of design of the game, but I do wish you could kind of like manipulate it in, even between those two. There we go. Oh no, are we done with our dream sequence? I was having such a good time. Uh, Pebbles was taken in 2007 and has no sign of life on it anywhere. Do they not have... I guess they don't, do they? Like, um, some sort of agreement about 
names being purged. I thought some service had that recently, where they, they were purging names that were in, inactive for so long, but I could be thinking of like a live service game that did that recently. Like Bok double C or any other kind of phonetic spelling I can think of is taken. Uh, Bok is, sorry, Bok in fact is some League of Legends coach with a couple of thousand followers. Fuck, well that'll do it. Dream? Oh, it was Nina who had the dream, yes. You were in it and so was Ryu. A dream where we all went to rescue Elena? You mean you had the same dream? Urshin says that that was Ryu's dream. Oh, I thought so. Okay. What do you mean, Urshin? Urshin says it was a dream of a possible future. One seen through the dragon's eye. A glimpse of what may be. You mean, wait a second. You mean, if we take him with us, he can take us to the place we saw in the dream? Okay, so I guess that's the way um, Ryu was kept on the team, right? Because at first when she sees him, he's naked and he has amnesia. And she's like, you know what? I'll take you to the local town. Maybe somebody knows you're there. And then furthermore, once you got into town, there was a point that you disbanded. And then later on, she was like, oh, hey, did you find out where you need to be? And he was like, no. And then things happened and you rescued her and you stayed together. So I guess this is um, continuing... Uh, giving like the the reason why Ryu is staying on the team, I guess, to make sense for both of the characters, because they're looking for Elena, and this is like the most they have to go off on. Apparently, so. <clears throat> uh, RuneScape did that a couple of years ago. Deleted all the names of inactive accounts. Damn, that's rough. That's how I got my four-letter username on it. Oh, wow. Uh, I have more chance of getting pebbles than that. Uh, it's tough with Bok because it's so short and there's not too many variations I can make of it. I kind of know the feeling, Bok. I've, um, like, my name is Azad, A-Z-A-D. Generally speaking, though, when I do any kind of service, I do Azad X, which is just an X on the end of it, as opposed to just the name without that. And then now that I've done Azadokan, um, there's no issue with having Azadokan pretty much on anything. It's such a weird string of letters, I guess. Bok is a very rough one, <laughs> yeah. Call it an omen, call it a vision, call it whatever you want to. I want to believe it's real. Up until now, we haven't had much to go on. But now I feel somehow closer to my sister. Like, we're finally on the right track. And it's all thanks to Ryu, isn't it? Guess we're heading to where the dream took place. Urshin says that she will go where Ryu goes. <clears throat> well then, let's get moving. We can't use a sand flyer, so we'll have to go on foot. We'll follow the coastline and head north. Winter Bockles is available though. Hey, Oh, perfect. Join the frost. Uh, I checked and Azadokin is also free. Is free where? In RuneScape? I like the idea of... Um, what about... Um, Perbok? Is that available, Bok? Or Pebok? Pebok must be available. Come on, what are we doing? Uh, he said go across the coast. How are we going to do that? Oh, from like down here. Oh, we can go back to Chamber. Hang on. Chamber do I want to go in? <clears throat> I think I want this chamber. I want to see if I can buy the sword. Da, 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 da. Just money at the end of the day. I do. Yeah. Sage's staff she already has. Leather armor doesn't benefit us. Brass helm would be great for... Urshin. Uh, 
healing herbs we have, some of antidotes we have, panacea we have. Ammonia we don't have. This is pretty pricey though. I'll get one. Pebok is surely available, right? Surely. Uh, as a door con, <laughs> as a, a door con is available on Twitch. Uh, sorry, Twitch. A Pebok is not available. I'm surprised. Huh? Oh, how sad. God damn it. You gotta find this person. Fusion Peb's Bok arc was not meant to be. Not yet. As a Bokken. As a Bokken's pretty good. That sounds good to say. I thought there was um. I could be wrong. Okay, so in this game, there's a there's a function, there's a feature called uh, Masters, and basically, you can have uh, some NPC character tied to one of your main characters as a master and student relationship, and it basically augments what stats you get from leveling up. So like, it, there's all usually there's a, an advantage and a disadvantage. So like, it will increase your attack, but lower your defense or something like that. I thought there was a master in this area. Let's have a quick look around, see if there's anyone who wants to do that. Can't think of who it was here, though. I could be wrong. It's been so long. <laughs> Maybe it's this guy? Well, it looks like he made it through Chamber safely. I guess Urshin did her job. I guess not. Nah, maybe I'm wrong. How did you manage to make it through the Hex without any armor? I guess you must be pure of heart, eh? You see any monsters? Yeah, we, we saw some monsters, bro. Alright. That's a bit like Octopath, um, but not at all. Uh, where you can make, like, a, a Therion have the Dancer subclass from Primrose. Oh, that's cute. I like options like that. So you can build some, like, crazy stuff in this game if you know what you're doing, I guess. Kurok. Look, it's Kurok. Oh, actually, I should use this opportunity to take a break and get changed. Yeah, let me get through this and I'll do that. Ooh, what do we have here? Blind attack, which we have. Oh, command! I want that. <coughs> Excuse me. I want that ability. Um, how are we going to do this? Uh, who should do it, even? Uh, it doesn't look like he's commanding. He might not be able to command creatures that are not of his ilk. You know, why don't we slap these out the way? Eh? That's better damage. That's damage. I've got a feeling this cat's gonna run off, but let's just see what happens. I'll try guarding. Yeah, he's off. <laughs> he's not having any of it. So this was a similar thing to Breath of Fire 3 as well. You'd find some enemies that would give commands and you issue a command and it would kind of tell the other um, gullible characters or confused characters who to attack. And it was a very important mechanic in Breath of Fire 3 for story reasons that I'm not going to. In this one, I don't know how useful it is, but it's just another ability that we can learn. Oh, there's the master! Oh, fuck. Okay, so I, I did... I was kind of right about it being around this time, at least. Yeah, Rewolf. The world is full of fools and something. A few are they who seek to master the art of magic. Do you not agree? I do. That is not an answer I had expected. <laughs> you are not simply saying that because you think it is what I want to hear, are you? No matter, I am Rewolf, uh, a disciple of the mystic arts. If you would learn what I have to teach, first, learn how to use haste. Fuck yeah! All right, um, so he increases AP and increases magic, but lowers uh, physical attack. So I think it probably makes sense to tie Rewolf to Nina. <clears throat> you can make multiple people do it as well, but I don't know if there's any advantage of that. I don't really feel like Kray, Ryu, 
or Urshan would benefit having their um, their physical attack lowered like that, so I'm not gonna. Those who have learned my spell of haste can move faster than others in battle. Know this: the art of magic takes hard work and preservation, a perseverance, sorry, to learn, and such learning is often done through battle. Once you have been able to make a combo attack with more than five hits, return here and I will teach you more. Farewell. Bubeans. I should make a note about where this guy was. Ooh, I want that though. Goo! Flu goo and mage goo. Uh, this goo carefully selects the most effective attack in combat. That does not fill me with joy. Does she just have haste now then? Not yet. I need to do a combo, I guess. Can I do a combo with this many? Nah, we can do a combo with other, another group, not this group. Big goo. video games where like your benched characters level up as well that's one of the things with like older JRPGs that I've never been too fond of and I'm glad that in more modern RPGs it's usually um, not too much of an issue or they circumvent it somehow like you'll get some currency to use to level up characters outside of them participating I think that's in the best interest of the game itself because, you know, you get variety in the game through the different characters that you use. So by not allowing you to use certain characters, it's just like holding back content. I'm not a fan of that. really want to learn the command thing from him, but I'm not going to be able to learn it if he doesn't use it. Alright, he's definitely going to run, isn't he? Yep, there he goes. Interesting that Nina was able to squeeze in a hit. I should probably put Ryu first, because I think he's the fastest character I have. I could be talking bollocks, because Nina is a higher level. Nina is level 8. Oh, Ryu's 7. He's not that far behind. What do we got? Speed is 17. Oh, she's 32. Fuck me, she's fast. How is she so much faster? Oh yeah, he's fucking 5. 15. Jesus Christ, Urshin's faster than Kray? God damn it, Kray. That's crazy to me. Okay. <clears throat> I only heard about the Breath of Fire games recently, but they seem like they're really good. I love Breath of Fire 3 and 4, Bok. This is number four. Uh, three has a special place in my heart, and it is one of my first JRPGs that I've ever played. I've never done one and two. I think they might be available on the Switch virtual console stuff, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> they are not real. Yeah, yeah all, all that too, you know? Like, what evidence do you have, really, Bok, you know, outside of this moment? <laughs> like, isn't it weird that you've only just heard about them now? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stick a save here. Uh, I'm gonna take a short break so I can get changed and wash my hands off Doggo. I won't be long. I'll grab myself another drink. I've seen someone play three. Oh no. See? Pebs, how can it be fake if, if Bok has seen number three being played? You know? And it definitely wasn't a dream. I'm sure it happened. Alright, I'm gonna pause here. <laughs> no, you haven't. Yo, don't gaslight our... Uh, gaslight? Yeah, gaslight our Bok. I believe Bok. That should be our tagline. Someone being an imaginary friend. You know, never mind. I'm with you. I'm with you, Pebs. I think it was also imaginary. I know someone who is weirdly obsessed with Gar. Oh, I fucking love Gar! Gar's incredible, Bok. One of my favorite characters from that game. You know, he's got like an attack, which is like, um, 
Although I don't think it was him specifically. He had like a rage and demon attack akin to Akuma, but I think that's just a learnt ability that anyone can do, potentially. But he was great. Fucking loved him. Anyway, gonna grab myself a drink as well. I advise doing the same thing. BRB? That's good. That's all that matters, really. Oh, hang on, hang on. I see a hole we can get through. Oh, I love a hole. Oh, oh no, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. We're gonna be. F oh fuck. It didn't fit. Oh, I didn't fit. It didn't fit. I wanna. I wanna. Oh wait. Hang on. I got this. I got this. Oh my god. Is this a bad person? People are shooting at me. I don't know from where. I don't know what any of these buttons do. What is this? My map is gone, so I don't know where I'm going. Is that a bad time? Yeah. I died. Snake, Your first you death right? was this. Snake? They Snake. shot at me! That's how you die! People shoot at you! Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, but which button is... All right. Okay, don't go too far because, you know, you don't have much health. Oh god, he's off! <laughs> Fuck me! Oh, Where are you guys? What? Don't go, come back! It, it left don't go. you! It left you! Don't go! <laughs> don't go! Oh my god, he's going further and further! Don't go! Oh my god! When that happened? If someone I don't know, when, when did you get 30 coins? Fucking shit, I would <clears throat> lose my fucking marbles, man. What was the beginning of that sentence? Uh, yeah, I missed that too. What? I thought I heard my name in there, but I'm not sure. All I heard was something, something shit. Lose huh? my marbles. <laughs> Repeat yourself, yeah. Kiki. <laughs> what? I, I, what? <laughs> you, was talk, you were talking, <laughs> Kiki. Talking about? <laughs> we're asking what you were talking about. <laughs> I fucking know. <laughs> Head empty. <laughs> 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 I don't know. You said something of like something something lose my marbles. Lose my mar yeah, and I was like, oh wait, I wonder what the thing was. Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh no, Haley. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna take the key, Haley. Um, I'm so sorry, Haley. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> listen, Haley. Um, <laughs> I... probably just gonna die, but yep. you might wanna fuck. Uh, just chuck it in. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 we get the <laughs> We did it! <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Drop that. Pick up that. Equip that. Don't equip that. Move over there. Unequip that. Get your RPG out. Shoot it in the penis. Ah! Fuck! What is going on? Give me a warning next time. I told you to stand back. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, she, she's actually. Oh, God. Did you see that? He just smacked her on the side of the face. Oh, my God. Oh, she wasn't ready for that. Oh, my God. Me. E. I return with more drink, uh, some fresh clothes. Um, what else did I do? I have some energy drink. This is, um, what is this? It's uh, called Hell Black Cherry. It smells dreadful. Oh God, yeah, that's, it tastes like someone just took like a pack of Skittles and made it into a drink. That's way too much. Oh, okay. Oh, where's my controller? Okay.
Uh, he's supposedly a super cool character. Gar is great. Big fan of Gar. Uh, he was in my team a lot back in the day. I mean, he's massive, he's got wings, and he fights with a spear. He was part of a group of people called the Guardians. What is there not to like? This person is obsessed with it for other reasons. Oh, oh no. My professional as with clips that play during intermission. <laughs> One day I'll be a professional streamer. Bok, if I am the standard for professional streaming, the standards have dropped. But I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, the thing I'm most known for are my clips, so I'm not sure why I don't do it. You should do it, Pebs. It's fun. I can imagine it being repetitive, of course, but um, I like it not just because it's a good way to show people who are new to the channel what things have happened in the past. I, I enjoy checking them out again. I think it's good fun. Hey, Jeds, welcome in. How you doing? Thank you. I do feel very succulent today. And uh, I'm still a tofu. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. It's like the tofu one and the Christmas star one. And the, the Haley witch one. They're the, they're the three that people usually redeem. Oh, how are you doing though, Jeds? Good to see you, buddy. Kind of quiet around here. Where is everybody? I heard there was lots of people working here. But I sure don't see him. Who are you? What are you doing here? Um, excuse me. We want to get to the other side of the river. May we cross? Sure. Don't need my permission to do that, but, uh... Wait. Don't tell me you don't know what's happened. You hear that? There's a dragon running around there. Another dragon? That dragon lives in the mud. Normally, he swims near the bottom and doesn't bother anyone much. But for some reason, he's been acting crazy lately. Everyone was afraid he'd break the gate, so they ran off. Well, there you have it. Uh, you can go across if you want, but just be careful, you hear? Thank you, sir. We will. Alright then, uh, let's go. I like the way that during that exchange, they moved the text box to be in the middle of the screen. So that you could still see the characters. It's kind of cool. There's so many small little attention to details to this game that I really appreciate. Now that I'm older and I notice these things. Yo, what is this goop? Puss pool, oh my god. Should never have had an enemy called Puss pool. Its body is mostly water and stops most physical attacks. Alright, well you know what that means. I want to see it for myself. Hit it! <laughs> oh yeah, that does next to nothing. Oh. Wow. Molasses. Oh. Alright, well, uh, I guess we should hit this with fire. Burn it. Burn it more. Do you have anything? No, it doesn't. That's a little bit more than 50. Dehydrated and become harder. Oh, that's cool. Because it's water. It's goopy. Huh. I wonder if that um, then makes physical attacks more plausible. Uh, doing okay, how about you? I'm doing alright, buddy. Um, my mouth is a bit dry and my nose is not doing so good because of the pollen. I think it's just a seasonal thing right now. I'm having issues with my nose, <clears throat> but otherwise I'm doing okay. I've, I've been sleeping much better for a longer period of time than I have been for a while, so I'm actually feeling kind of decent today. Can't get past that. <clears throat> well, I mean, I put up two clips a week on YouTube anyway. Oh, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to remember to make more clips, Pebs. I don't think of it in the moment. Most of my clips have been made by other people or spec. I should definitely have the, um... I know there's a function to, like, mark instances in your in your streaming, in your recording. I should definitely do stuff like that, because there's definitely been moments that I wish to remember. I just forget about it. Nice! One less excuse, though. <laughs> they are indeed. Oh, sure. Okay, let me test that now. So if I add a marker now, will that somehow come up to the thing afterwards? Let me see. What, how does that work? 
Crush marker. Add a streamer marker. Okay. Did that do it? An unexpected error occurred. Oh no, that didn't work. Marker? Hardly newer. Oh, I have to add a description? This is a test. Like that? No, I'm doing it wrong, Pebs! What am I doing wrong? Add a stream marker at the current timestamp. Uh, it'll be in the video highlighter in the video producer. Oh, will it? Oh, well, fuck it. We'll see what happens afterwards. Hardly ever knew her. Oh, fuck. Hang on. I'm on the wrong thing. Yo, check this guy out. Like an armadillo. But beefy? I know it's dangerous here with the dragon and all. But I've got nowhere else to go. That was depressing. Wait, is there something there? Hang on. Let me switch character. Spin and fly. Nah. Some buckets. I don't care for buckets. Look at the sludge. There's a metal called Orum mixed in with the mud. We come here looking for it. Uh, we're what you call prospectors. Oh, okay. Yo, I like this guy. I can't get to him. It's too deep. Uh, anything to the left that I might have missed. No. Is that a floaty? How'd you like my tube? Uh, this way, I know I'm okay, even if the dam breaks. Alright, GG's. Need to pull that down, I think. Who are you? You looking for something? Uh, sorry to bother you, but my friends and I would like to cross to the other side. Can you help us? The other bank? Why would you come all the way to this place to do that? Well, uh, I guess that's none of my business. Anyway, you want to get to the other side. First, you have to close the... Wait, what? You have to close the sluice? The sluice? Sluice. Up there. Then cross the river. What the fuck is a sluice? Once you're over the river, you can use that lift there to get to the top of the cliff. Rops got the key to the slice. Go talk to him. He's the one with the tube. Thank you very much. Very well. Deal with the slice first. Deal with a slice of cake, you know what I mean? Huh? You want the key? Yeah, I've got it. Here. Well, that was easy. The slice key. What do you want the key for? You want to go to the other bank? Oh, okay. Well, uh, be careful, huh? I like the way everyone's just like, what, what, why do you want that? Ah, whatever. Go on then. Who am I? Who am I to question y'all? Do it. I don't know, just have a button I press in my dashboard. I got you. And now I have a button in my stream deck, A, which makes it really, really easy. Yeah, I, need, I should put it as my. Uh, I do have an external uh, nine pad, nine button, sorry, keyboard thing. Which I use for like various things. For two years, I use the dashboard button. Uh, did he just say, How do you like my tube? He did, Jeds. He did. I did gloss over that a little bit. I think I've just completely numb to people talking about the tubes with me. I don't know. A slice is usually a gate that stops water from coming through from somewhere. Oh, that's cool. And that makes a lot of sense, given the circumstances. Cheers, Bok. I had no idea. We should be able to walk on top of the slice now that it's closed. <clears throat> so it's just like water preventative gate. So just thick gate or airtight gate or water tight gate, I guess. Hang on, let me see. Interesting. There's no reason for me to go this way. Oh, I see. Teasing me with an item. I do like being teased. Alright, um.
This is further up from this one. Cat. Oh, this was it. This was lowered. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, we can... Oh. <clears throat> Forgot there was random encounters out here. Alright. Oh, everyone's here. Interesting. I wonder if that thing will use command now. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. Nah, he's not gonna. I don't think he'll use command unless he's with his duck. Oh! We can learn molasses? Oh man, screw me. Okay, I definitely need to look up a guide of just all the different abilities that you can learn. Because unless it pops up in blue when they're attacking me with it, I don't actually think to defend against it. That was purely luck. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to... Range versus one. Lowers agility, that's what it does. Burn him. And then... Sever the bunch of them. And then you, my friend, kill that one before he runs away. Don't let the puss pool fool you. Hurrah! Ban! Nice. That was a four hit combo. Uh, I googled the pronunciation of Sluice because I've never known how to say it, and apparently it's pronounced Sluz. What? What a goofy word. Wait, Sluice is pronounced Sluz? He said, oh. <laughs> Wait, Not gonna lie, I was convinced it would turn out way worse uh, than this for that kitty. Oh, I, di I didn't even see the kitty. Apologies. Hang on, I need to google Sluice. Give me a second. Sluice pronunciation. Oh my fucking god, it is. You're totally right. Hang on. Sorry, I know this is a bit loud. Oh wait, now you're not even going to hear it because it's going through the same audio channel. Sluice. Sluice. Let me stick it on the uh, British pronunciation, see if that helps. Sluice. 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 Oh, that didn't help. What a weird fucking word. English is weird, man. Like, how does sluice, yeah, slice become sluice? I don't know. But yeah, I'm so glad we got past the sluice. We'll have to lower the other sluice, probably. Uh, chest down there. Okay, that's probably why I would want to go this way. Ah, uh, not this way, then, huh? Maybe this way? A vitamin. I think that's a healing item. God, this game is so chill. I guess we can do all of these now. I am, by the way, I think I mentioned this a couple of days ago, or the last time I was streaming. I'm so excited for the next Final Fantasy. And I kind of, I've been excited for it, but not like kind of giddy excited that I sometimes get with certain video games. And I was kind of wondering why that was. And I think it's just because it's been a bit too oversaturation of stuff coming out about it. I haven't been watching a lot of the stuff. I haven't even played the demo. Who's playing around with the slu- <laughs> with the sluice? You want to close the sluice? Uh, yeah, yeah, we do. But this machine here. It stopped, right? It's been a little stiff lately. Relatable. You have to turn it really fast to get it to work. Still relatable. Here, I'll explain what you have to do. First, you have to turn this flywheel here by hand. Then, when the wheel's spinning fast enough, flip this switch here. If you just want to close the sluice, it doesn't have to be spinning that fast. But the faster it goes, the easier it is to operate. So I wouldn't mind if you put a little extra effort into it. 
Do you want to read the instructions? I guess so. Use the directional buttons to make Ryu spin the flywheel. The faster you press the directional buttons, the faster the wheel, the wheel will turn. Once the sound of the wheel spinning becomes high-pitched, press the circle button to start the machine. Good God, what are we doing? Be careful. If you work at it too long, you won't be able to keep the speed up. Do you want to read some hints? Oh, sure. Yeah, why not? The trick to spinning the wheel is to start out slowly, then speed up. Uh, you can turn the wheel in either direction. When the sound of the wheel spinning becomes high pitched, that's the signal. Start pressing, so to start the machine by pressing the circle button, okay? However, you might want to see what happens if you don't press the button and let the machine continue to speed up for a while. If Ryu begins to sweat, that's a good sign he's getting tired. Press the circle button when the time's right. Don't try to overdo things. This is so confusing! Okay, fuck, what the hell is going on? Alright. Ah. Uh. We were playing with a sluice. Hand check, everyone. Put your sluice down. All right, then. Uh, let's get started. One of you has to turn the wheel while someone else has to come over here and push the switch. <clears throat> okay. What am I doing? Oh. Okay, I'm rotating the stick right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I did it right. Oh, I'm not pressing the button. I'm just going to see what happens, like the game said. Okay, now it doesn't seem to be responding at all. That's not right. Okay, so at some point you have to stop spinning. Okay, I'm gonna go for the exclamation mark, question mark. Try again. Try again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Let's fucking go. I want Ryu to sweat, and I want her to freak out a little bit. That's what I'm looking for. So that's normal. Now I want to go further. Give me the sweat, baby. Give me the sweat. Give me the sweat. Give me the sweat. Give me the sweat. There it is. Tell me to crank something. I know how to crank something. Oh, my nose is blocked again. Too much cranking. Where's the tissue? Looks like it closed. You should be able to get across the top of the sl uh, sluice now. Also, it looks like it's running a lot smoother now. Thanks a lot. I'd like to give you something for all your work. Here. Hope you can get some use out of it. Oh, we got a toad. That's... That's, uh... Something you give people. I assume that's a fishing thing. Have a safe journey. Kind of hoping for a sword, I'm not going to lie. Uh, which way are we going? This way, I guess? Yeah, that's the way we got to go. Let me check over here. Ah! Short sword! Cool. Short sword. It lowers the agility by a couple of notches, but that's a nice little upgrade to his attack power. Oh, we do have some stuff here. Increases wear resistance to status, changing attacks, brass helmet. Hmm. I don't want to lower reuse agility too much. Oh wow, when did we get raptor claws? Hey, Kirk! Welcome in, brother. How you doing, man? Good to see you. 
Ocean's trademark increases the chance of counterattack. Damn. Ah. Uh, that's huge. But, like, look at the agility. Look at the agility. If I put this on Urshan, the agility goes down to two. The fuck is two? <clears throat> I don't know if it matters, though. Because Urshan's always last to attack anywhere. I'm not going to rely on it just yet. Who killed the cats? No one would, Kirk. We wouldn't do that. How you doing, Kirk? It's good to see you, buddy. I see you coming here cursing immediately, huh? I still love you. Hang on, we want... Uh, burn this. You know what, let's go for a combo, why not? Um, back up one more. Risky shot. Burn. And then wait, wait, wait. Caesar, okay. Heard Hiya Nice. This is still only gonna be a four hit combo. Damn it. If uh, Urshan didn't kill that thing in one hit, this would have been a five hit combo. We would have done the thing that the master wanted. That thing's totally going to run away. So I'm wondering, if I attack with Urshan first, that thing's going to be faster than me. But if I attack with Nina first, Nina will attack first, I think. Because she's faster. Yep. i got to keep that in mind. I'll try that again and put Urshan first, because I'm wondering, when you select your characters in which order that they attack, they, they respect each other's attack sequence, but the enemy goes by their speed, you know? I think that's the case anyway. Appreciate the luck, Kirk. I hope you're well, buddy. Right, now let's go around here. Right, what do we have here? Uh, there's a way inside there and there's a way up there. I assume I'll have to go inside that place over there, but I just want to check what's up here. Oh, chest. <clears throat> Swallow Eye. I think that's an item for, um, oops. I keep pressing triangle to bring up the menu. God damn it. <clears throat> I think Swallow Eye is an, uh, is an item for curing blindness. Increases the reaction time. Plus one to users. Jelly. Oh, never mind. Is that just, um, a status... A stat upgrade. Straight up. Yeah, it is. Holy shit. Huh. I should probably have used both of them on Ryu. Whatever. Since magical energy restores. Who do I make the brains? Plus one to use as wisdom. Interesting. Um, give that to Nina, I guess. Okie doc. Oh, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Guard, baby. Everybody, we're guarding. Learn command. Someone learn command. There we go. Chris got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yay, we learn command. Cap is guarding. Wait, they're called caps? Oh my god, they're called caps. Cap, 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 and a red cap. Uh, so in this case, I think if we use Cray here and use command, let me just check if this works. Oh, defense minus 20. That's brutal. Here we go. So now I'm using command back. Hell yeah. God, this game is good. Alright, uh, and then we can just fucking kill things, I guess. 
Oh, there is four of them. I could have done um, a magic combo. I guess next time would have been fine. Um, I'm going to put Ryu in the back to see if that helps heal him up. I know being in the pack on the back recovers your AP, but I'm not sure about your HP. I think it's both. I think you get a little bit of both back. Oh no, just AP. What's funny is, if you notice at the bottom there, Ryu gained a little bit of AP back. You see how it's in blue? Uh, blue means that it's only temporary for this battle. Once we're outside of the battle, the blue will disappear. Really interesting system. I like it. It encourages you to kind of just use your magic in the fight when you get it back as a blue. And not to be too precious with it. <clears throat> Especially with characters that don't have much of it. keeping an eye out for the dragon. If things really get out of hand, I'm supposed to ring this bell here. I just hope we have enough time to get out of here when that happens. I got a feeling we might hear that bell. Oops. But what am I looking at? Okay. Oh, I can only rotate the camera in, uh, in two different positions. Okay. How do we do this? Oh, hang on, how do I get around to that? There we go. Sweet. I wonder if we should return the key or not. Oh, he's not here anymore. Oh, oh there he is. If you're done, give the key back to the foreman over there. Oh, you're back, eh? Alright, uh, I'll work the lift for you. But first, you've got to give me back the key, all right? Hey, Rob! Go up and open up the sluice, okay? Roger. See? If we don't open the sluice, we can't do any work. That's why we're waiting for you to get out of here so we can get back to work. All right, then. Uh, let me work the lift for you. The sluice is broken! The mud's overflowing! Well, uh, I was going to work the lift for you, but it looks like I got more important things to worry about now. You mean we, we can't get over to the other side? Look, I'd love to stay and help you, but I've got to get out of here. You'll have to work the lift yourselves. Here, use this. Oh, well, we've got a crank. We, we, it is actually just straight up crank. Don't worry, we're going to fix the sluice with a crank. All you have to do is attach that to the box in the front of the lift and pull on it a few times. I'd think about getting out of here too if I was you. Anyway, good luck to you. See ya. <laughs> uh, I appreciate they didn't make um, an animation for him running and just made him walk away really quickly. There we go. Uh, we've got to press it again, right? You said a few times. It's not moving. Maybe we need to move the handle some more? <laughs> that dude is just going at it on that bell. Oh, good lord. Come on, hurry up already! Crank, 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 crank. I don't think we're gonna get out of the way in time. Oof, oof. I think it tanked the frame rate for a second there as well. 
a lot of mud. Whew, we made it. I hope all the people uh, who were working there are alright. Yeah, I think they'll be fine. They knew when to when to leave. Mmm. Yahoo! There he is. Two boy. He knew what he was doing. I guess he's the only one who survived. That's my head cannon. Thank goodness. It looks like everyone got out safely. Come on then, let's get going. Alright, so that we got past the dam area. I'm gonna save here. <clears throat> Blow my nose again. Urshan says that the dragon did not mean to cause such destruction intentionally. Alright. Let's see, we need to head north to Kyria. We should be able to get through to Sinesta from here. We heard about Sinesta. Sinesta's was um, purified of its hex more recently. I'd heard that dragons normally aren't violent and don't attack people. Yep. I, I want to say that the, um, the dragon who which caused the mudslide is something that you can meet. And I don't know whether or not it's... Um, it's mandatory. I think you might need to go off the beaten path, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to have a little look around here. There's a lot of hidden secrets in this game, I feel. Um, most of which I, you know, as a kid, when you're just playing at whatever pace that kids play at, I, I bumped into a lot of stuff by accident. don't remember how I triggered half the things. Yeah, something here. Maybe this one is mandatory. It's beautiful. There's a village called Kiria to the east of here. We should be able to get a Sinesta from there. Oh. Look at that. Look at that jiggly fella. Isn't that... Oh, look how weird that is. I see what they were going for. It's that dragon that destroyed the dam. Oh. Never seen a dragon come this close to the shore before. I don't know what that guy is, but I, I hope to God there's a mod to stick this guy on your team. Looks like your paths have become entwined with the dragons. Do you know a lot about dragons, ma'am? Is this the same dragon that destroyed the dam? Dragons don't attack people, dear. This one just wants to tell you something. Really? I, I wonder what he wants to say. Dragons are beyond the understanding of mortals like us. What we know of them comes from us in songs from ancient times. Do you want to hear one of my songs? It won't cost you much. Oh, is this like two versions of the same song? Uh, I guess I'll pay up, you know, for the experience. I don't know. Day is going well so far using him. I've been looking forward to playing this all week. Uh, I'll say the only thing I have grievances right now is just my nose. Every now and then I feel like I need to stop talking so I can breathe through my mouth because my nose is just not having any of it. This game came out... Oh god, when did this game come out? It's a good question. Hang on. Off the top of my head, I want to say like very, very... Because it's PlayStation... Um, PlayStation 1, excuse me. So I know it was like very early 2000s, early 90s, sorry, late 90s or something, hang on. Uh, April 27th, 2000. Yeah, smack bang 2000. 
Although that's probably um, Japan, I imagine. Yeah, this came to North America in November 2000 and didn't come until uh, to Europe until August of 2001. Massive gap between them. So in Japan, it was April 2000. Uh, North America, November 2000. And then Europe, August 3rd, 2001. Yeah, I wouldn't have got my hands on this until... Geez, how old would I have been? It would have been like, yeah, 2001, 2002, probably. I don't think I got this on release date. Wouldn't have been able to afford any of that. Hmm. Also, I breathe through my mouth uh, a lot of the time, which doctors have told me is unhealthy. Yeah, I try to do it through my nose just because I don't like the feeling, to be honest. Spider Dogo! <laughs> that sounds scary. Yeah. This game is about um, a band of characters looking for um, a missing princess called Elena. Elena, however you want to pronounce it. And you play as basically the two characters at the bottom, Nina and Ryu. One of them is uh, a dragon with amnesia, and the other one is a princess from Windea. Uh, there's also mystery and intrigue because there's another dragon called Folu, who was just awoken. And there's connections between him and Ryu. And so at the moment, just to keep it simple, we're on a, we're on a journey to find a missing princess who is Nina's sister. Kray is the guardian who's helping her out. Urshan is here because it has... She wants to keep following Ryu because there's some mystery around him. Ryu is still part of the team because they all had a joint dream in which they got to some location where she, the stolen princess is being held. I will pay the money. <laughs> That's cute. Thank you kindly. All right, here's a song for you. From the world's dawning to its end, the endless open the way. You who hear their call, abandon yourself to fate and surrender yourself to all. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> Can I ask for my money back? Uh oh. I don't get it. What was that supposed to mean? It means that when the dragons move, the world follows. Every everything the dragons do changes the world in some way. And you all have been caught up in that change. I'm sorry, lady, but we're kind of in a hurry. We don't have the time to sit here and talk about dragons or whatever. Thank you for singing to us, ma'am. Ha! Your path is more than just tangled up with the dragons. You've got one walking around with you. Cool. Uh, in the mood to talk about some stuff? Or would you prefer, do you feel like chilling, getting immersed, reminiscing the game? Oh, I can do both. I don't mind. As long as you're patient with me uh, hopping in and out, whatever we're discussing. <clears throat> there will be points in the game where I'll be grinding, I guess, as well. Ooh. Travelers? If I was you, I'd be careful around here. Good, the music sounds so cheeky. What's going on? Oh, this is very pretty. Mayor said the best way to keep the village safe is to rig it with traps. Ah, okay. The mayor here is a little eccentric. He loves traps. Uh, that's why the village is full of them. Only problem is, we get caught in them ourselves sometimes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, I like the little doll up here. That's cute. This kind of trap's called a bear trap. It's important to get the right kind of spring. And make sure the teeth are nice and sharp. Your whole village of people who are obsessed with traps. <clears throat> and it sounds like it would suck. 
Uh, why would someone be patient with you? You are wonderful and, and uh, could not be easier to talk to. Thank you, Username. I appreciate it. I I'd like that to be the vibe here. I, I, don't I don't want things to be, you know, difficult for people to open up or speak about whatever. I'll be back in a while. Perhaps we can discuss some stuff. Uh, for sure, Username. Whatever you want to discuss, if people are up for it. And I'll always give you my opinion as well, as long as it's something that I'm comfortable with. Egg day did go well. We enjoyed both eggs on the weekend. Thank you. You didn't get uh, hurt making your way around the village, did you? The rooms here aren't that big. I will drink to that. But you're welcome to stay. I Maybe I should rest here. God, I gotta get another drink. I think it's so sweet. Oh. You'll be good back. No comment on the baby, I guess. Oh, we should check drawers. I forgot about that. Sometimes there's items in there. Is there one in here? No, this is a bed, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's one down here. Next to this kid. Ah, nothing. Nice way to keep out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. All right. Well, I feel like we should probably try to step on the trap in the middle of this town just to see what happens. Okay. What did that do to me? It didn't do anything. Okay. Just cosmetic, I guess. There's another trap right here. I wonder if there's a way to dismantle it. Um... The area is trapped. Yeah, no shit. Uh, I'll see what it does, because I'm just curious, right? Your foot has been caught in a trap. Use the directional buttons to shake it loose. That sucked. Oh, there's a kid down here. Uh, you boys got a sweetie back home? You'll find something real nice for her in that chest there. <laughs> Wait, what chest? Oh, there's a chest back here. Alright, well, clearly it's a trap, but yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, a boss fight? I mean, not boss fight, just an encounter? Oh, interesting! It appears to be a normal treasure box. Interesting, okay. Um... That one with fire, and then hit this. One of these. Hiya! Ban! Oh, I did nothing. What's up with this one? Uh, let's try hitting it. Oh, that did damage. That was weird. I wonder what that was about. Oh, I did get treasure, though. That's cool. We got Ice Punch. I think I like Ice Gauntlets for, um... Urshan. Uh, Water Ranged. Yeah, let's, let's try that for a bit. I'm sure that's gonna come into effect for, like, certain areas. Or certain fights against certain things. Um, there's nowhere there'd be treasure in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. What a jerk! God damn it! This sucks. <laughs> hey, Danny, welcome in. How you doing? Good to see you. Ah, you fell right into our trap. Yeah, yeah, I did, didn't I? It's not your fault you got caught in our trap. We're just so good at making them. You couldn't have helped yourselves. But no hard feelings, eh? Here, have this. I got a belladonna, that's, that's great. No idea what a belladonna is. <clears throat> I 
Mayor's residence, okay. Feel free to play with the pet. Yeah, okay, that's another trap. It's another trap! What the fuck is that? The tax been blocked? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, I guess hit it? Uses shield to attack against normal enemies. All right. Can I learn wild swing? Oh my god, that does so much damage. I want to see if I can learn it. I got a feel like it's kind of dangerous to be um, trying to learn from something that can kill me in a couple of hits. But we will try. Guard and maybe no. Kray should learn it. Okay, let's make it from Ryu Guard, Grey Guard, uh, Urshin Attack. No, no, everyone should guard. I'm gonna learn the Wild Swing move, whatever it's called. Oh, the shield came off. Risky blow? It was blue, it was blue. Did someone learn it? No, no one learned it. But it was blue, that means we can learn it. Yeah, there we go. Cray learned it. I wonder if risky blow was because we got rid of the shield, and with the shield it does the wild swing instead. So we can use that immediately. Critical if it hits. Yeah, go for it. I think that's the thing that I think he already knows, yeah. Wild shot. Ah, interesting. Try one more time. Burn. Burn! Oh, that connected. That's great. Nice. I think if you connect something which uh, usually has low accuracy at the end of a combo, I think it benefits it or makes it more accurate. Could be talking bollocks. I feel like that's a thing. Oh, my nose. My nose. I know, Bok. I know. Hang on. Where's my drink? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, God. All right. The energy drink has been drank. I can move on to tea. Oh, it's um this tutorial character. Hey there. If you made it this far, I bet you've been able to make a few combo attacks, right? Have you been able to use Burn and Sever to make Firewind yet? I've got lots more useful things to tell you about. What do you want to know? Oh man, what do I want to know? Uh, tell me everything. When there are more than four party members, the members you've uh, entered com uh, commands for move up in the front rank, while the rest go to the bank. back. What's so good about being in the back, you say? Well, you don't get attacked, for one thing. Also, people in the back rank regain ability points based on their CP, concentration level. Huh. Finally, moving to the back rank, use any status changes except for poison. I was just about to say, oh man, we would be able to get rid of that poison if we just threw them in the back. Okay. Knowing when to change ranks is a sign of an experienced fighter. Anything else you want to know? Yeah. Masters. Have you met any of the masters? If you're studying under a master, which abilities go up when you when you gain a level change and you can learn all sorts of skills from them, yeah. When you first start studying with a master, they each teach you a special skill called a willpower skill, or will for short. These skills can work automatically and are like that master's trademark skill. Try to find the master that best suits you. Alright. Camp we already know about. Transfer skills, yeah. 
change who's studying under who, yeah. Resting in a camp won't restore your maximum HP. Anything else you want to know about uh, organization? If you've learned a lot of skills, you should organize them. Each character can have up to eight skills. A character already got that many skills, he or she can't learn anymore. I didn't know that. Returning your skill to the skill scroll using the subscreen won't use up any aurum. So you can return skills as many times as you want. Thank you for the tea. Alright, good to know. Hey, can you stand there for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. GG's kid. Not even animals are dumb enough to fall for that one. Alright, well, that, now we just mean me. What is that creature there? Oh, isn't that the thing I just killed? This was the pet? Oh my god. So disconcerting. Don't like that. Don't like that. Yeah, there's something here. Did I just fall? I'm starting to dislike this place. Uh, there's a ladder up that way. There's something... Yeah, I want that. So I want to fall somewhere over there, I guess. <laughs> evening, huh? It could be. <laughs> it's evening somewhere in the world, Danny. Come on. There's a trap there as well. Oh, I have to go into the trap. That kind of sucks. Uh, Drop-ins, Bonza, how's about a flutter? Can't do it, mate. Time's a-wasting. Got him, yes. What? No good, mate. But you sure put in the big ones. What is he on about? What's he talking about? Tell him, do you know where the mayor is? Who really, we really have no time for this. Leave us alone. Um, try this one. Now I'm chuffed. Oh my god, he just said chuffed. Jesus Christ. You gonna play with me? What do you wanna play? No good, mate. Alright, hang on. I, I need to try this again. Yeah, drop in, drop in. Time of wasting. Blah, blah, blah. What you talking about? We really don't have time for this. Chuffed? Uh, yes. No good. Ah, fuck. It's the other one. Okay. I don't actually know what happens if we do this. <laughs> Seems like there's a sequence, though. Uh, really don't have time for this. And then I guess next is no. No, I could guess! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Imagine right now, but it's evening. It's crazy. Why are these birds the only voiced characters? It is kind of weird that the, the, the only ones are chirping. Oh, you are! No. Hold on a minute. Are we on or aren't we then? What's this then? They're pulling a flyer. Sorry, look who's talking. No, we'll play with you. I'll fuck this four options now. Uh, look who's talking. Oh, come on. <laughs> this takes so long. Okay. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. What's he talking about? We have no time for this. No. Okay, uh, we did that one. Let's try the last one. Oh, fuck. Is it gonna be the last one? I'll try again. Alright, uh, we don't have time for this. Uh, chuffed? No. Can't be no again, can it? Can't be no again. I'm gonna try sorry. It was no again. It was no again. It's two no's. Literally did this the longest way possible. Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. What are you doing? Okay, don't have time for this. No. And then no again. Booty! Nook! Up there with Kazali, that one. Hello. 
You really got ticker. What the fuck is he on about? Hey, Wills, welcome in, buddy. How you doing? Let me go and check where the spec is, actually. I think spec is on a call, but I'll run in there quickly. Give her a hug. Oh, she's been hugged. It's done. Oh. Babs, what the fuck are you saying evening for? <laughs> Hope you're all well. I'm not doing too good, but I'll live probably. I'm sorry to hear that, Wills. Uh, I hope whatever it is, it passes soon, buddy. Kind of sucks to start off the week um, with it already being a difficult week. Because it could be. Could it, though? <clears throat> This tea is too hot, put the tea down. Uh, do whatever you can, Wills, with whatever's in your power to take care of yourself during these times. And hopefully time will just do its thing. Yeah, it's sounding prolonged. I hope things are okay. You look after yourself, yeah. All the best, Wills. Uh, it was easy, thanks, you bet. Not really, we got lucky. Okay, come on. Uh, I'm gonna work from the bottom upwards. Yeah, okay. Got one no, we need another no. No again. Okay. Not really. Good on you, mate. It's been Bonza. The fuck wrote this? Uh, what can I do you for? Where's the mayor? He's in the woods out back west. You want a chat? That's the ticket. That must mean he's in the woods to the west, right? Oh, was that it? Are we done? How's life? <laughs> Never mind. Cool. Okay, well, we know where to go, I guess, for the mayor. Not sure about anyone else. Can we communicate with the chicken? Cluck? Yeah, what was I expecting? What was I expecting? Uh, I can't tell if I love or hate listening to these birds. I, I'm also not 100% myself. But I'm glad it's over. I think it was just too much. Yo, 400 zenny though? I wonder if there's any random encounters down here. Uh, what are we doing here? Hang on, do I need to be crazy? Yep. Oh, that's crazy ability. Okay, you can just move things. That's kind of neat. Oh, we popped out there. That's cool. Okay. So I know I need to go. I'll just check if there's anything else over here. Uh, entry without permission of the mayor is prohibited. I'm guessing we won't be allowed to continue this way. Yeah. If you want to go through here, you need the mayor's permission. Alright, so we need to go to the forest, uh, the woods to the west they mentioned. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, I like the water. Like, it's such a subtle effect, isn't it? With just a few pixels on top of it, looking like it's shimmering. Looks really nice. Hey, Shaggy, welcome! I'll go back to them. I need to find out. What you, as in, the, the you want to hear the birds? Okay, let's go. One more one more bird time for Pebs to decide whether or not Pebs likes the birds. 
Just, just a quick little ganter in there. Hang on, hang on. Avoid that trap for the third time. Son of a bitch. There. How, how, how's that? How's that doing for you, Pebs? You like that? Gotcha. Gotcha. Good. What a dick. The door is trapped. You won't be able to get in that way. All right. Well. Oh, yo! She breath on my fire till I f <laughs> till f till four. I was gonna read it as till I ford. <laughs> oh, you did till I four. It's not real shaggy. Evening shaggy. Hello, Azza. Hello, Pebs. Why are you back at the birds? I thought we were done. You just fucking said you weren't sure whether or not you wanted them. Uh, Pebs is convinced that I made up Breath of Fire 4. And maybe the rest of the Breath of Fire series. Do you think I made up the entire series, Pebs, or just number 4? How are you doing, Shaggy? I almost, I swear to God, Pebs, I almost ask how you're doing this fine evening because of you. Uh, this creature uses command on its enemies, then uses confuse on them. Uh-huh. Does that mean we can learn that? We might be able to learn that. Also, there's three enemies here. One, two, and then three would make it five. If they survive my attack, I could potentially do, um... Let's see. Yo, I got Rock Blast? Oh, sweet! Um... Um, how does Rock Blast connect with all these? Alright. First things first, let me try it with my normal situation. So, burn, sever, and then let's try Rock Blast. Oh, I hope this doesn't work. Yeah, good. I wonder if I can learn Confuse. Oh, for God's sakes. You made this game, that's dope. Thanks, Wills. Okay, okay. Fire wind. Now, does that link to Earthquake? Ah, it doesn't. Oh, wait, he's confused. I didn't even notice that. Hooey! Well, these enemies are a bit tough. A lot of damage. I should heal, actually. Oh, I think it was a crit. Dun, 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 dun. God, I love this game. I'll set up for the first two being real. Oh, fair enough, yeah. The first two came out on the Super Nintendo back in the day. They are GBA versions of them, though, out there somewhere. A lot of people have been streaming these games recently, so it's cool to see um, your own made-up series is doing well, Azza. Thank you so much, Shaggy. I worked hard on it, you know? Feel bad for taking credit. This is a really fucking good game. Uh, let's do a little rest here. I think I'm sick. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Shag. Just woke up sneezing like a fully automatic. Could it be uh, allergy seasons at all, Shaggy? Or is it like straight up, you think you got like a, a cold or a flu? Uh, my nose is absolutely awful today. I didn't even think about um, the pol pollen being a thing until my laptop told me, weirdly enough. It's like in this particular area, it's... Uh, let me hover over it. Let me see what it says. Um... Where is it? Tomorrow's pollen count is high, is what it's saying. Yeah. And right now, the map is all yellow. I think that signifies that it's very pollen heavy right now, I guess. I drink plenty of tea, Shag. That emo just gave me an idea. Only good ideas can come from that emo. It's just with smiley face, huh? That's a great idea. Nah, I'm built different. Don't have any allergies. Hey, that's wonderful. I don't have allergies as bad as, uh, like, my dear spec. But I definitely fucking have them. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, get well soon, Shag. 
Oh, 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 we can do it again. We can do it again. Okay. Um. Uh, let's play this one safe. So if I start off with this fella, and we do risky blow on him, and then we do burn. That's the way around I want to do it. Yeah, let's just try it. Yeah, because Kray is going first, I think we're going to attack pretty late. Because his speed is terrible. Never mind, we're good. I missed! He missed! Ah, well this might still work. I totally didn't work. Oh, that's so disappointing. Bollocks, that was my chance as well. I wonder why I fucked up that time. Alright, murder them. Hurrah! I'm trying to get a five combo, if I can, using magic spells. I need to figure out the relationship between rock and the two spells that I have, so I, I want to experiment with that a little bit too, but I want to get the five hit combo first, with what I know. Ooh, this is cute. Can I, um... There's a man there. Can I interact with this tree? Maybe I need a different character? Hey, we found an apple! Another one! We found another one! Um... Huh. Hang on. How many? Okay, well, I guess I'll just drink. How's everyone's day going, by the way? I hope everyone's well. Hope you feel better soon, Shaggy. Must be the strawberry vanilla tea. Quite nice. You got any plans for uh, your next morning pebs? I finally reached the, the real game. Apple Farmer Simulator, we're here. Who knew we just needed a really tough noggin? It was the first night in a week that I've had more than five hours sleep. Yo, that's great, Danny. I was saying earlier on as well that I've actually been sleeping quite consistently this week. Most of the nights I've slept at least six hours, which is good. Jim, I'm working on you during though? That sucks, dude. Yeah, Danny, that's huge. I hope you continue to have the sleep. Sleep is great. How many apples do we have? <laughs> <laughs> and what does apples do? Uh, we have 65 apples. I did not hit that thing 65 times. My favorite of balls restores 100 HP. Yo, that's pretty fucking good. That's really fucking good. Uh, a favorite of balls. Interesting. So I'm just gonna... I'm Just a few more. Hey, Misty! Welcome in! How you doing? What a beautiful block it- I know! Urshan's great! Oh, were you talking about me? Yeah, I'm, I'm tofu right now. Apple's not enough. <clears throat> How is Misty? I hope you're well, Misty. <laughs> I fucking love this Misty person whooper thing. Yo, can you give a shout out to Misty, Pebs? I think you have the power to do that now. And anyone who's a VIP, feel free to just shout out um, whenever the, the urge takes you. Usually I tell Spec to, but Spec is busy right now. I think so. If I don't, if you don't, I'll do it. I'll grab my keyboard. But I think you have the ability. 
Yeah, there you go. Wait. You don't have enough room to carry anything else? I think I'm maxed out on apples. Ninety-nine. As I live and breathe. There you go. I've answered the question we were all thinking, by the way. Oh, God. Yeah, actually, while I'm here, because I'm thinking about it now, I do go through phases of remembering to do this a lot, and then other times I completely fucking forget, and I apologize. There's never a moment I don't want to shout people out. Oh, I wrote Shaggy wrong. I wrote Shaggity. <laughs> I was about to shout out uh, Sai Shaggity. <laughs> Two seconds, I'm going to see if that's actually a person. Sai Shaggity. Nope. Yo, Shaggy, there's a name there if you want it. <laughs> Check out all of these people, by the way. The wonderful people. Oh, absolutely, Pebs. I trust you, buddy. You're welcome to shout out whenever the whenever the urge takes you over. Of course, Bok. You're all wonderful people. I feel lucky to know you all. Alright, let's keep going. I said you can't come in. But you did. Huh? You're looking for the mayor? Um, there's a small problem. I mean, the mayor of Kyria is in here. But he's, uh, well, lost. Some really fierce wild animals moved uh, into this forest a while back. Me and the mayor figured we should get rid of them. That's why we came here. But we only know how to make traps, see? We're not too good at hunting. I'm afraid we haven't had much luck so far. I think we laid too many traps. Uh, kind of got hoist on our own petard. Know what I mean? I have no idea what petard means. Two seconds, I need to Google something. What's a petard? Petard. A small bomb made of a metal or wooden uh, box filled with powder. Uh, used to blast down a door or make a hole in a wall. Interesting, that's what petard means? A kind of firework that explodes with a sharp report. Huh. I had no idea. Petard. A pit petard. 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 So if you said, hey, that person's a little petard, you'd be saying that, you know, they're, they're a bit of a firecracker. Doesn't sound like a compliment though, does it? I honestly, Pebs, as soon as I said it out loud, it, it felt it felt weird. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking of. I mean, I think I know what I'm thinking of, but I don't think I should use it. It's a bit too close. I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, so do you have any idea what's happened to the mayor? Well, he's either gotten stuck in one of his own traps. Or he ran into that monster. If you want to go in there looking for him... I won't stop you. Here, take this with you. I don't think I need that. Try putting that apple on a stump in the woods. Shout out to Stumpin. You should be able to lure the monster out with that. So if we find the monster and follow it, you should be able to find the mayor. I hope. But be careful. There are lots of traps in the wood. All right, uh, I'm going to put Nina in the front so I can see ahead of myself. And should we just hit, like, any other tree? You know, I'm going to put Urshan in the front. Anything over here? Yo, why is this red? Oh, no, I got back attacked. Is that what it is? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's gross. I don't like that. Big up Stump. Stump's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stumpin, a uh, good friend of mine, he started streaming like a year before I did. Unfortunately, he hasn't, um, he hasn't been streaming for a while. But he's a wonderful chap. And if he does start streaming up again, which I hope he does, 
Um, I highly recommend people check him out. He taught me everything that I needed to know about streaming. Like, when I started doing all of this and stuff, he really looked out for me and taught me a lot of, like, how the stuff works, you know? Like, I'm still learning it, but he really helped me out and inspired me to get at it. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I still want to do the five-hit combo, don't I? Let's try it. There's four of them here. It should work as long as this doesn't kill one of them, which it shouldn't. So we'll try rock blasting it. Let's try. Got so much damage. It didn't link. I don't know why it didn't link. Maybe their two attacks will link. It did. It's linking with the with the earth attack. Why? It's just pure rock blast. Okay, so wind into rock doesn't do anything. But that's a five-hit combo. We did it. All right, we need to get Nina out of here. Lego. Don't fall for you. Don't fall for it. I was just about to say, now I need to heal. I'll just have some apples in it. Apples will keep us going. Where be my apples? Oh, feels good. Anyone else? <laughs> I wonder if this has always been the thing. I don't remember it being a thing. Like, there'd be an infinite source of fucking apples here. That's kind of wild. I mean, the further in the game you get, the less useful having um, something that heals you by only 100 will be. But right now, it's incredibly useful. Okay. You want to place an apple? Yes. What do we do? Yo, what is that? Oh, it gives us tracks. Oh, we have to avoid those traps ourselves? Okay. Ah! Oh, wait, I want that. <laughs> no! Stop getting distracted. Follow the tracks. They're fading. Oh, fuck. I fell in a hole. God damn it! <laughs> this is going to require precision. Something I do not have. Alright, uh, there's some other stuff in here as well. I hope I managed to get everything. Can we jump down here? No, we'll have to fall directly there, I think. Yeah. Guess this way's back up. Yep. Oh shit, did we disconnect temporarily? It says that um, my OBS is welcoming people to the chat. Apologies if... Um, the OBS crapped out. I, I don't know what's happening lately with Twitch and me, but um, Twitch has been... I don't know how to word it. It just stops for some reason randomly. It did buffer for a bit, yeah? Okay. Um, Pebs mentioned the other day that it's on Twitch's end, which makes sense because my internet doesn't drop. Uh, when I drop with my internet, it looks very different, and it's not that. I'm not sure what's going on. All right, um, since wind and earth didn't work as a combination when wind was first, I'm going to try it the other way around. So basically, I'm going to try rock blast first, and I'm going to follow that up with wind and to see if that's a thing. If that's not a thing, then uh, I need to try with rock and fire. 
So with Ryu to see if it's um, any sort of combination. Here we go. It is chaining together. So when you see a combo on the top right, that means that the next thing does chain with it. Yeah, it chained with it, but it didn't augment it. So it's just another magic spell followed by another magic spell. Yeah, and putting fire after wind doesn't do anything. Okay, understood. Right, in which case, let's go from here and charge. Bum, bum. I'll have to refresh on my other monitor because the chat hasn't. There we go. Might take a while till the chat appears back on the um, the stream, but it will eventually catch up. All right. So which hole did I fall down before? I fell down. Hmm. I went up here for some reason. How to get the chest? How do I get that? Hey, pointed stick. I love pointed sticks. I feel like it's an equipment. <laughs> it is branch with sharp thorns. Uh, that seems pointless. Though, there is something in the game where it depends on how many items I have. That's just a rock in it. Cool. Does that actually do any damage? Nah. It's sorry, I stand corrected. It was it was pointy. Pointed, sorry. You're right, you're right. Alright, let's try the other combination. So I wanna try um Rock first. And then I want to go into fire. Let's just finish with a scissor. Yeah. See if this is a thing or not. Nah, it didn't even combo. <clears throat> Although I don't know if it didn't combo because the next two are combos. Not sure. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a boss fight at the end of these woods. And I would like to have haste before we get there. But I'd have to leave this whole area to do that. So we'll see how much um, AP I have. Okay, there's a hole here. Let's try this one. Hey, this is the one we wanted. Aura ring? Huh. What is that? Increases whale's resistance to mind attacks. Interesting. I feel like I should probably give that to Nina, I guess. What's she currently got? Yeah, we'll give it to her for now. Wait, which way am I going? Ah, this way. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> Let me get comfy. I guess this is why you have infinite apples. In case this takes an infinite number of tries. <laughs> no, 
Nope. Yeah, I ran into a hole here. That's it. Was that it? This is a nice area. Alright, what combination have I not tried out? There's not much AP left. I guess I could try burning first. Using rock blasts, see what we get. I come to think of it, maybe I should have given him that item. Yeah, he's a bit more susceptible to it. Oh no. If he's confused, he might also, yes, sir. Okay, I guess not when it comes to attacking himself. Yeah, so now our combo's not gonna work because he's confused. Fantastic. Oh, that does so much damage! She heal someone off the grid? She can. That's great. Because like I said, that blue AP that you get back from being benched uh, is temporary. You lose it at the end of the battle anyway, so I might as well just use it to heal Ryu. over here. Yeah, that leads to the waterfall again. That leads up the mountainside. Okay. I've got a feeling this might be the way I need to go. Again, I'm not sure whether or not I'll be strong enough to take out this uh, enemy. I feel like this is probably the moment I should make a save state, you know what I mean? Um, should we do a save state? Let's do a save state. How do I do a save state? Save state. There. Yeah, I think I did a save step. We'll find out, I guess. Just so I don't have to replay this entire section. Yo, who's this? Try stealing the items in his bag before he uses them on you. I, I don't have steel. But maybe I can learn it from him? Yo, he's got a wind attack? That's cute. Oh shit! Yo, Yasuyuki! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the follow! Much appreciated! Arigatou gozaimashita! I hope you are well. Uh, Yasuyuki underscore is a fantastic artist that I found yesterday. Uh, I highly recommend checking out his artwork. It's really fucking good. It was a pleasure to be in his um, stream yesterday when he was streaming. I apologize, Yasuyuki. I don't have a, a Japanese translator. And I'm too embarrassed to speak in Japanese. <laughs> What am I doing? More guarding. I don't think this guy is gonna do anything other than attack me, so I'm just gonna have to hit him back, I guess. Hey, okay, so they're not very strong, they're kind of squidgy themselves. 
Yo, we got a moon sword? The fudge is a moon sword. Uh oh, not again, not again, not again. Go back down, go back down. Alright. Is that for Ryu? It is for Ryu. Okay. Yo, 51 is huge. Ah. This keeps happening with Ryu. Every single thing that I keep putting on him, which is an improvement, keeps damaging his agility. Raptor Claws is better. Yeah, I'll go with Raptor Claws for now, because I think Wind is probably better for now. And let's just eat a bunch of apples, since we have a lot of them. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright. Okay, I've definitely got a bad feeling about what we're about to do. But what's the worst that could happen? Wait, did I equip the moon sword? Hey, me too! Watashimo, I think the art in this game is fantastic. Totomo Daisuke. Oh, you're good, Shaggy, don't worry about it. I'd do it again, Shaggy, and you can't stop me. On that subject, and I don't mean to, to hound them, I do recommend people check out uh, Yasuyuki. His artwork is absolutely incredible. Let me give them a shout out very quickly. Uh, the vibes in there were very, very pleasant. The artwork was really cool. The last time I was in there, they were doing artwork of um, Kasuga from uh, Ryuga Gotoku from Yakuza. And it looked fabulous. It looked really good. The rendering art style was really good. It reminded me a little bit of the artwork from Tactics Ogre and um, Tactics Ogre. Final Fantasy Tactics and Vagrant Story, like the way he renders that kind of stuff, it looks fantastic. And the music selection was really good too, so I would recommend checking them out. Oh, hang on. Excuse me, but are you the mayor? Oh, he set a trap, didn't he? Wah ha ha ha, it worked! My trap worked! You saw it, didn't you? That stupid animal just walked right into it. Do I know how to make traps or what? That's what you get, you dumb furball! How do you get so stupid anyway? Run in the family? Oh, I feel like we know what's coming. Yep, there we go. Yo, that looks so cool! I guess we arrived just in time. Oop! That would be the family, eh? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll handle it. Oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Um... What does Barrier do? Magic? Damage? I don't- I don't think this thing is gonna use magic on me. I'll see if I can blind it, but I don't think it's a thing to blind, you know what I mean? It lowers agility. Maybe I should go with that first. See if I can poison it. That might be fun. Speed, protect, risk, defense. Risky blow. I think speed and protect are good ideas. Protect is probably a good shout. Nothing. Hey, we poisoned it! Huh. That's cool. It's one of those things, I never think about doing stuff like that to a boss. Um, back in the day, because I feel like there was a lot of games where you just couldn't. Hey, I'm so glad we got a poison off though, that's really cool. Uh, I feel like we knew what's co what's coming. Giant bipedal mammoth falls from the sky. How in God's name did you see that coming? Because you saw the small one, right? You saw the small baby one, and he was nattering on about family. I, this happens all the goddamn time, Shaggy. All the time, I swear to God. All right. I'm going to go bigger. Go big or go home. That's what someone said once in life. Uh, okay, what am I going to do now? Uh, let's do... I'm gonna do wind. I'm gonna switch Prey out so he can get his MP back. Let's go. 
Arigato, I like your voice. It is very easy to hear and cool. Thank you very much, Yasuhiyuki. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Uh, this is true, as does have a very <laughs> smooth voice. I do not. I slur my voice all the time. How dare you continue to compliment me, Shaggy. I refuse to accept it. I take compliments incredibly well, as you can see. <laughs> Shaggy, if I could give it and trade it to you, I would in a heartbeat, my friend. You know, it's funny. I've talked about accent and dialect and things like that. Um, I'm from the north of England, and when I traveled to Macedonia for the first time to work, and then I traveled to Japan afterwards, the way I spoke, like, changed a lot, right? And it's weird, whenever I used to go back to the north of England, they used to listen to me and think that I sounded different. But when I'm outside of there, people just think I'm British. You know, it's, it's this weird thing now where the way I speak doesn't sound too much like, I don't know how to word it. I always sound like something to someone. Barry is magic, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go with flame. Uh, I'll try blind again. One more time with a blind. Nah, I don't think it's a good idea to try to blind it. Miss, yeah. Ooh. I'm very happy we got the poison attack off. Let's do normal attack. She needs to heal. I don't have Ryu's special attack just yet. I don't know why. Says Shaggy of all people. I know, right, Buck? To be fair, the range of British accents is ginormous. It really is, Wills. It's crazy, isn't it, how many different dialects there are and, like, ways of speaking English. Uh, when I went to Japan, I've said this multiple times on stream before as well, I met so many English-speaking people from so many different countries, right? Like, from the US, the UK... Uh, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Jamaica, Trinidad, um, Barbados, Canada. Like, the list just goes on. And just listening to how many variations and ways of speaking, just English in, in English alone, was just wild to me. He's got enough AP to do something fun again, I guess. Uh oh. Stun? Oh, that sucks. Hit him out with his attack. If you could just sh send me a few voicemails, Shaggy, I'd appreciate it. You can say whatever you want. Right, I'm going to put Ryu at the back to get some of his MP back and also to heal him. Uh, which I should probably do first with Nina. Let's see. Oh, wait, 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 there we go. Ah, this connects. That's cool. Hiya! Uh oh, rock blast, that's everyone, AoE. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be more damaging than that. Should maybe use some apples. Hey, we did it. 
It's weird. In my memory, that boss was like this uh, demonic presence when I first played it as a child. Like, I remember being stuck on this, and it's weird. I remember like tiptoeing my way there and fighting a lot. So I was definitely stronger than I am now. Like, what did I do as a kid that was so dumb? Ah, oh, video games are wild. That is ominous, makes it sound like you're gonna turn me into an AI voice. I would never do such a thing, Shaggy. Well, it depends what I can make the AI say, actually. It'll happen to us all soon, I know. Hiya! Voice sounds like Marge Simpson. <laughs> do it, Bok. Well, I must say, I am in your debt. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, who are you? Um, you're the mayor of Kyria, right? Yes, yes I am. You wanted to see me, did you? Well then, uh, let's go back to the village and we'll talk. Oh, I guess we're with him. Nice of the game to, like, um, escape ropers out of there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. But you've never seen a village like this before. Uh, well, no. Well, there's a good reason for all the traps. You mean because of the passageway to Sinesta? Oh, you about that already, did you? So, if you recall correctly, Sinesta was the place that was hit with a hex. Kind of like Chamba was, right? But Chamba is still under hex. Sinesta was uh, purified some time ago. That's right, there's a passageway to Sinesta here. A lot of people from Sinesta fled here during the war using it. Even though the war may be over, it's our job to protect it, in case anyone ever needs to use it again. That's why we're here, Mr. Mayor. We want to use it ourselves. Well, sure, why not? You don't look like Imperial types. I'll open up the passageway tomorrow morning. You can stay at the inn until then. Oh, I know that music. Hey, it's for Lu time! Okay, so the last time we saw For Lu, he had just awoken from his long ass slumber. We don't know how long he's been asleep for, but definitely generations, decades, hundreds of years perhaps. And when he awoke, <clears throat> he was ambushed by the Imperial Army, which is funny because the Imperial Army is actually named the For Lu Imperial Army. Like he's the one that established it, but they don't want him to wake back up. And he fled. He was on a bridge. They broke the bridge, he fell into the water. They assumed that that would have been the end of him because I think, um, no wait, he, did, he does have an affinity to water. I think he's weak to fire. That's why they were using fire against him. Yeah, they set the, the, the forest on fire. But yeah, he's woke up in a random cabin somewhere, I guess. Hey, Gin, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Uh, Gin is also an incredibly easy recommendation. Let me let me get on this now that my keyboard is is very comfortably on my lap. Shit, did I spell that right? Is that right? Oh god! For some reason, I thought I wrote Gin Gangster. I was like, oh no, who who's Gin Gangster? Oh, oh, god! Give myself a little mini heart attack. Yeah, good to see you too, Gin. How you doing, buddy? Look back over here. I love this music. Also, this character that we're about to meet, I think he's a throwaway NPC character, but he's also a character who looks a lot like and shares the same name as someone from Breath of Fire 3, which is cool. 
Uh, Ging Gangster sounds like a like an alcohol with <laughs> with a gat. You what? Recharging <laughs> uh, Ging Gangster. I'm just saying, Gin, it's just money on the table. If you want to make sure that Twitch has that, it's not maybe the most halal name, but it's there if you want it. I'll let you get it first. Gin, like the booze. I always thought it like Gin, like silver in Japanese. That's the way I went to it. I, I don't think I've ever asked, asked Gin where it came from. Gin, where did it come from? Where did it come from? You're awake, eh? How do you feel? You were asleep for a long time, you know? You must be wondering where you are. My name is Bunyan. I live here, in the Zinga Mountains. I found you a few days ago, collapsed down by the river. I brought you here and dressed your wounds. Then, I am in your debt, Bunyan, yes? No need to thank me. More important, are you alright? Oh. Apparently he is not. Silver. Oh, it is from Silver. I like it. I like it. Uh, whenever I was teaching in Japan and the kids asked me what my favorite color was, I told them Silver. And they look at me really strangely like, uh, Silver? Because they pronounce it a little bit differently in Japan. We say Silver, right? But there's no uh, C, S, I sound in Japanese. The closest is Shi. So they, they, they often pronounce it Silver. Don't push yourself too hard. I've seen men die from burns as bad as yours. You should rest some more. Unless, of course, you've got somewhere to go. For Lou. My name. For Lou, you say. That's interesting. Uh, same name as the first emperor, eh? Oh, I guess we only had a short, brief moment with him there. I thought we were going to play as him because um, there was a blue book next to Fall Lou. That's often the um, the save point in the game. Uh, John Shilver, shiv shiver me shimber. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, I was practicing with the kids how to pronounce it because it's not a regular uh, phonetic sound in the Japanese alphabet. Thank you for letting us use the shortcut, Mr. Mayor. No worries, be careful, and all that. The entrance to the passageway is up that road there. Alright then. Let's get going. Don't, don't do- Oh, I knew it. God damn it, Cray. <laughs> I like the way they just shook his head. Oh, and then they put Ryu in the front. Yeah, that checks out. I assumed we're all healed up. We are. That's good. And let's continue. Although I would like to revisit the Master to get the other ability now. Oh, we need to switch here. Oh, Kray is such a cool character. I'll let him redeem himself. I started doing Wanikani hey, more often lately. I haven't reached silver, but I got gold. That's awesome, Gin. I don't even know when's the last time I used Wanikani. I'll be honest with you. I need to get back to it. Keep at it, brother. It takes a long time, and repetition is incredibly important. I mean, you know this anyway. You speak multiple languages. You know what the deal is. Where do I go? Is this leading out or is it just like a pool of light? It's just a pool of light. What is your favorite Japanese food? Oh, that's a difficult one. It thought. Ah, let me think. Hmm. Hmm. Probably uh, Ebi Furai. 
I love fried shrimp. Ebi fry is really good. Uh, onigiri is also very, very good. I think my favorite Japanese dessert. Uh, hey, Clove, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, Japanese dessert wa nani kore? Uh, Hiroshima no. Uh, uh, what, what the fuck? What the fuck is it called again? Um, Oh man, I don't know why my brain is blanking on them. Um, hang on, I need to Google this. I need to Google this. I don't know why my brain is blank. My friend literally sent me some of these from Japan because of how obsessed I am. My brain is just frying now because I'm trying to switch languages. I'm, I'm not very good at that. Japanese dessert. I'm literally looking- Oh, Momiji Manju! There we go. I was staring at a picture for it. Uh, Momiji Manju wa Daisuki. I love the, the custard one, the chocolate one, uh, the Ampan one. All of them are really fucking good. Momiji Manju. Ichiban Daisuki. Where's my controller gone? I'm at five. It's pretty fun. It is. It is, Gin. It takes, it takes a while, but yeah. Wait, when you say you're at five, do you mean five languages, Gin? Because I'm not at that point. <laughs> How you doing, Clove? Uh, did you not used to have a Gorp redeem? Or is that someone completely different? That might be someone else, Clove. I don't remember a Gorp redeem. I'm sorry. I'm good. How are you guys? I'm doing all right. I, um, I slept better than usual. We had Doggo over this morning. Uh, I'm just, at the moment, I've got allergies because of the, the pollen here. So my sinuses are blocked at all hell, but otherwise I'm doing pretty well. Ah, Mumiji, yeah, Mumiji wa Daisuke, I love it. Oh, level five, oh, thank God, Gin. Oh, oh, I was like, I, I, I don't speak five languages, what do I do, Gin? <laughs> oh, what are these things? I have a vicious attack. Can I learn the vicious attack? Hang on, I'm gonna go. We should have saved before we entered this cave. Come on, come on. What are they doing? Or not doing? Alright. Let's try this and I'll put Cray in the back to guard just in case they do see something. Maybe I'm thinking of a different creature? Yeah, maybe. Oh, there we go. Thank you for the chest there, Clove. Oh, whatever. Box on it. <laughs> Box like I don't I don't like this this thing anymore. Hey, it's Lubu. I'll take Lubu. Thanks for the headdress. Where are we going? Nothing here. What other Japanese food did I really like? I mentioned Ebi Fry and um, Onigiri and Momiji Manji. There was a lot of Japanese stuff I felt like I liked. Oh, the sushi was incredible, yeah. Kaitan sushi was really good. <laughs> well, was that the conveyor belt place? Kaitan sushi? Yeah, Kaitan sushi was really, really good. Ramen, yeah, udon, those are really good too, yeah. I'm put him on guard one more time. Oh, wait. He can use. He can use, he can use, he can use, he can use apple. Nice Chester. <laughs> Arigato. Thank you. I try. <laughs> Very halal. Thank you again. Yes. My Chester is the most halal Chester you are ever going to witness. <laughs> nice Chester. Sparkle emoji. <laughs> oh, Takoyaki. Takoyaki is a good show. Tako oh, I can't have Takoyaki. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Takoyaki I can't have. Yeah, because it's octopus, isn't it? Yeah. Conveyor belt sushi was so good, Clove. Yoko, so oh, I forgot to welcome them. You're right. This is why you should be here, Spec. 
I forgot all my Japanese when I need it. Oh, we should probably heal some more, I guess. Hang on. I was just going to say as well, um, my Japanese friends are all asleep because it's very late in Japan as well. Oh, Clove, when did you go to Japan? That's so cool. Uh, me too, Clove. We should go. We should both just return there. I really enjoyed my time in Japan. I miss my friends there a lot. Ammonia. Mm. Da -da -da -da. Uh, can we just charge? Okay. Good. I thought they were really tricky to hit for some reason, but it seems like it's fine. <clears throat> I've always wanted to go. Osaka seems like a blast. Yeah. What time is it in Japan? In Japan right now, it is... 11.30. Oh, it's not too bad. I thought it was later than that for some reason. I guess most of my friends in Japan would be in sleep by now, though, because they have work tomorrow. Uh, Juichi Jihan. I've never been to Japan, but I'd love to go. I've only had conveyor belt sushi here in the US. Ah, I'm with you. Ooh, what are those things? The simple creature knows how to all sorry, knows only how to snooze and how to devour. Both of which I think I can learn. Let me get rid of the thing in the middle first. Burn it and then lobber it. And then guard against the rest. Yeah, Juichi Jihan. Yeah, that's right. Apparently, sushi in Japan is miles ahead of anything uh, we get in the West. I really enjoyed sushi. I would go every week. Um, I would get sushi with my friend after work. It was a good time. I was going to say Mainichi. Mainichi is every day. My... Hoshino? How's week? Shoe, my shoe, my shoe, uh, sushi. Tabemashita. Well, how do you say with friends? Tomodachi to. The Tomodachi to is friend and friend. It still means it? Oh, it still means with friends. Oh, okay. Wait, did we learn anything? I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't looking, damn it. I'll do it again, just for good measure. Oh, the animation for that is so cool. Well, we're not going to learn anything from that one. Hurrah! Snooze. There we go. Maybe I can learn that. Sorry, I'm going to try guarding to see if I can learn the devour ability as well. Let's bring in Urshin. Uh, let me wake it up. Eh? Alright, let's try again. Eh? Snooze! It's not blue. My, my team members are just not understanding what snooze is. I thought snooze was a learnable ability. It's not? It's not learnable? It's like you haven't managed to learn it. I guess I haven't learned it. Yeah, I haven't managed to learn it either. <laughs> Gimme, gimme! <laughs> you, Jin! <laughs> Put spec in the mug. There we go. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna murder this thing. Hiya! Eh? Oh, 
Pum pum. You know, now I'm thinking maybe we should have a translator. But I don't know how to make it only be applicable for some of the people who want to use it. I know there's closed captions. I do have closed captions. I don't know how versatile they are. Maybe a command, yeah. Or maybe someone can use a command to, yeah. yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll look into it. Yeah, I'm a bit deeper in this cave than I expect it to be. Pum, 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 pum. Um. Ooh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Um, I want to experiment. So last time I tried um, fire and rock. I want to know what combination to use them in. Let me try with rock first. Rock blast into fire. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What about... Okay, I'm going to try it like this. Wind into rock blast into fire. Is this a thing? No, it's not a thing. Didn't even combo. <sighs> I'm gonna have to look this up. A guide would be nice. Fooey! Oh, it worked! Eruption! Yo! Sweet! Okay, so hang on. That was rock into fire. Okay, rock into fire is a combination like fire into wind. Yo, that was sick. Hey, Yasuyuki, and everyone else is free to share as well. What video games do you like? Donna video game wa tsuki desu ka? I can't rotate the camera. Oh, wait, we're good. Wait. Oh, this is a little bump. I can't actually get up here. You can go this way. Uh, not that way. This way? <laughs> you guys like video games? Couldn't be me. Wouldn't be caught dead with a video game. This lonely zombie only wants to make friends, literally. Oh. It just wants to make. Fr it just wants to make friends. It uh, it just wants to make friends. Oh. Video game, unfamiliar concept. <laughs> ah, Nia Automata, Octopath Traveler, Bravery Default. A. Yeah, the Bravery Default art style. It's the same as um. Uh, the same one as Tactics Ogre. And Ogre Tactics and Vagrant Stories. It's the same artist. Battle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Same artist. Those are very good games. Near Automata is great. Alright, what am I doing here? I want to know what they do, so I'm going to guard first. See if there's anything I can learn. <laughs> Distracted? Oh, that's a terrible ability. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy? Oh, you should! You should! It's really funny. Yeah, Yasuyuki, uh, what was it, next week? Or next, next week? Sarai Shu, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah. Uh, hang on, what am I doing again? I'm distracted. Hit him. Hit that one. Hit that one more. Keep it in that one. Eh? Uh, yeah, my art style is influenced by those games. Hey, I thought so. Uh, the uh, Nantake, nan, uh, uh, illust illustrator Namai wa Yoshi Nantaka. Chotamatene. 
Was it Yoshi? What was the name again? Uh, Tactics Ogre Artist. Akihiko Yoshida. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yoshida Akihiko. <laughs> yep, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daisuke. He's a very good artist. To um, Shinkawa Yoji Daisuke. His art style is incredible. Uh, he did the, the Metal Gear series. Very cool art style. Uh, did I take much damage? Uh, no. Yeah, Yoji Shinkawa, Tabon, maybe Ichibanski artist though. Very cool artist. Ah, uh, more of these. I wonder if there's anything I learned from this. Hmm. I also didn't learn steel yet, and I think I might have missed learning steel from something. I should look it up, because stealing in this game is very useful. Or pilfer. Sometimes it's called pilfer. I'm not sure what they refer to it as in this one. Uh, let me do... So what was it? Was it rock into fire? Rock into fire, right? So... If I do rock... No, or was it fire into rock? Rock into fire? Okay. Wasn't it? Or did I... I did fire into rock. Sorry, what was the first one? Rock. Did rock first. Then the fire happened. Set it up like that. I think it was fire into rock. Wasn't it? It was just a minute ago and I've forgotten. Was it fire into rock or rock what into was fire? Started first. Rock was first and yes. then eruption happened after. Yes. That's how it happened, but I don't know whether that's how you set it up. No, 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 no. As in, when we had eruption, what did it cover the name of the thing? Was it fire, fire or one. was it? Did it cover the fire one? Because okay. First he did rock. Yeah. He hit stuff. And then fire. His turn, okay, and okay, he did okay, fire. okay, 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 okay. So it was rock first. Okay, then let me try it like this then. Okay, Rock Blast. And then Eruption. Yeah, okay, you're right. Then Eruption. Okay, and then maybe this is a combination now with Wind. Okay, it combos, but it doesn't change what it is. That's my highest combo so far, I think. Faint. Oh, that's cool. Can we learn that? Okay, I need to learn that. Faint swing. It's blue. Wait. That's from him. What the fudge? Okay, hang on. Miss? Okay, I can definitely learn that. I want to learn it. God, God, God. Recall? Whoa! Oh my God, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, the combo did, but now I'm trying to learn something from this creature. Stealing in real life. Also very useful. <laughs> eh? Oh, did you post the link? Yeah, it's a it's a trailer for um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You can set the subtitles, Shaggy, to translate the Japanese for you. I had to watch it multiple times with spec to understand what they were saying, and we've been in Japan for a while. They, they talk very quickly, but it is incredibly funny. Uh, I'll call you an expert witness during my trial. <laughs> Always happy to help out the community. Hey, Yeah, it's a promo video. 
Yeah, Cloud basically accidentally calls Tifa Aerith and he tries to walk it back. And there's actually, in Japanese, there's a thing that sounds similar, like air or something he's trying to get away with. He's saying, oh, I'm actually referring to this thing. Yeah, Kansai Ben. Kansai Ben, yeah, which is a dialect. dialect. Yeah. Osaka dialect, yeah. Okay, I think this, because he doesn't have any AP, I can't learn anything more, so maybe I should just kill this thing. I will use that extra AP to heal, and let's just kill this. Giddy poo. Yeah, I want to try to get out of this cave at least before we call anything today. I don't know where I'm going. This way? Uh, let me have a look. I don't think it's to the right, I think it's further up. This looks promising. Ooh, hello. I really like the water effects. Look how subtle that is. Like a few pixels, right? With the different colors on it. And look how nice it looks. It looks very convincingly like water. Like the my only nitpick there is that the frame rate seems to be weirdly low. The game is beautiful. So, this is Sinesta. This town took the brunt of the fighting during the war. They told us that, like Chamba, it had been contaminated by the Hex during the war. It's certainly a lot livelier than Chamba, though. Yeah, it's also where Elena disappeared. Don't worry, Chris. I don't know whether it's say Elena or Elena. This E L I N A. Elena? Elena? E L I N A. Yeah. Elena, Elena. It could be either, couldn't it? Yeah. Don't worry, Cray. I'm sure we'll find something here that will help us find her. Alright. New town! These claws are pretty nice, huh? I got them from the Windayan princess. Oh! The Windayan princess, so she was here. Hello there, I'll be glad to talk to you. But first, I have to see to the children's meals. Alright. I'm so hungry, where's Chino? I hope he gets back soon. Yo, is that a treasure chest over there? Chino must be running around town somewhere again. He's such a kid. Oh, that's just mean. They put a rock in the way? It's empty. Could this be one of the chests Elena brought with her? Huh. I'm hungry. But none of us can eat until Chino gets back. I've got a feeling that we're probably going to be looking for Chino, eh? Uh, isn't real water 12 frames per second? Is that, is that right, Shaggy? <laughs> tastes like it, yep. That tastes like 12 frames per second to me. Hey, Purbot, welcome in, buddy. I'm guessing that's Chino. Yeah, we should probably go and help them. Game looks quite pretty. This is one of my favorite JRPGs of yesteryear, Purbot. I grew up playing this game. I think aesthetically, this is one of the best looking games ever created. I think it's some of the finest pixel artwork and the palette, the color palette for this game is fantastic. Ah, foo! I've got to, to catch Chino, foo. Is the foo like her almost swearing or what? What, you think you can catch me? No way, I'm the fastest. No one can catch me. Help catch Chino. You can catch Chino by getting close to him and talking to him. He'll run in the opposite direction if he sees you coming. So get ahead of him and wait to cut him off. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be a pain in the ass. Where is he? We managed to get rid of the Hex. 
but there are still some monsters left in the buildings. That's why I'm guarding the staircase. To make sure nothing gets in or out. Interesting. Ooh, who's this? I hear that Imperial troops sometimes come here too. Oh, there he is. Oh, you, you little bugger. Come here. Come here. Whoa, oh, I clicked too fast. All right, all right. I'll go home with my sister. I remember that taking way longer than what I just did. I think I got lucky. I see you've come back and you've got Chino with you. Yes, Sister Lighter. These people here were kind enough to help me find him. Well, thank you very much for your help. I love the fact that they've gone to so much effort making so many, like, uh, custom portraits for the various characters that you talk to in this game. This game looks really beautiful. Some of the finest pixel art. Somewhere out there, a Third Strike fan clenches his fist. Hey, Third Strike may not have looked as pretty as it did if it wasn't for this game that preceded it, Shaggy. It is Capcom, after all. I'm sure the same artists worked on it. But sprite work in fighting games is a completely different ball game. And yeah, Third Strike is some of the finest out there. I will say, Shaggy, what was the last King of Fighters game? I can't remember which one it was, but was it like 13? 11 or 13 or somewhere around there. That game's sprite work was just like, oh man. It, it, it's, like a, it's like the last glimpse of what a potential Capcom sprite fighting game could have looked like if they kept going that route. Such great artwork in that one. Now then, why don't we go upstairs and talk? No, I agree this game is gorgeous, but Third Strike fans and uh, King of Fighters 13 fans, there we go, are rabid with how their games is the prettiest. Yeah, I can see it. And don't get me wrong, they are really, uh, sorry, they are really good looking. They are. Third Strike still to this day, when I go back to it, I notice things that I hadn't noticed before. Same with that King of Fighters game. Yes, it's true. Her Highness Princess Eleanor did honor us with a visit. She was very kind to the children who, as you know, lost their parents during the war. She left them many gifts of clothes and other things. I was very impressed with her compassion and generosity. What then? Where did Eleanor and the people with her go when they left? <clears throat> well, I'm terribly sorry, but please. We'd be grateful if you could tell us anything. I know. Chino. Chino, do you know where my sister, where the princess went when she left here? You bet I do, but... I won't tell you. You caught me when we played tag before. This time, you have to play hide and seek with us. If you can find all of us, I'll tell you where she went. God damn. I feel like every single JRPG when this game came out had a hide and seek part of the game and I never liked them. Hey everyone, hide and seek. I kind of want to do the chests first. Oh my god, how many is that? Oh dear, I'm sorry. I didn't intend for you to have to... It's alright, sister. Besides, if Chino does know what happened to my sister, I'll do whatever I have to to get him to tell me. Anything will do anything. Well, let's go and try and find them. Boy, uh, hide and seek mini games are beyond time wasters. I know. At least you get to see uh, more of the pretty town. That's true. I do want to explore more of the town. Like, I want to go into all the different buildings and see what's in there. The children from the orphanage are all hiding somewhere in the town. To catch them, find them and talk to them. You can see how many you have left to catch by returning to the orphanage and counting how many children are there. All right, hang on first. First things first. What's in this? Filled with toys and snacks, okay? It's full of children's clothes. God damn, are you saying we can't take these things? Ah, uh, okay, well. 
I'm sorry, I try to catch them. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I I wasn't trying to hide from you. I don't play hide and seek. That's for kids. There's always a kid. That's too old to be a kid. Whoops, you found me. All right, I'll tell you where to find Rune. This kid was just hiding here. He said he'd hide under the eastern wall. All right, cheers, buddy. Eastern wall, here we go. Okay, let me spin this camera around a little bit. Oh, I can see a kid there. That's really fun. All right, let's go and find him. Oh, you found me already? All right, I'll tell you where uh, Goet is. I saw him go off towards the gate. All right. Uh, during the war, this city was attacked by the Empire with the Hex Cannon, what they call the Carronade. Up until just a little while ago, it was still so bad that no one could live here at all. Yeah, sounds brutal. It's hard to believe that just a little while ago, this place was filled with that horrible black hex mist. And that's what I keep hearing. Yo, who's this fella? This house belongs to the magnificent Marlock. It's not a place for people like you to hang around. Alright. I plan to travel the world, paying my way with what I earn from my performances. Oh, can I give this guy some money? Okay, guess I can't. We carry everything, even goods from the Empire. Let's check what you have, my friend. Jabba grass? Cures mutinous in one target. Huh. I feel like we should take a few of these just in case. Panacea is good. Ammonia is good. Wooden rod we already have. We don't have any floaters. Get some of those. We might finish today with some fishing. Fishing is very relaxing. <laughs> what a fucking snitch! All these kids are snitches! <laughs> that they are, Shaggy. That they are. There sure are a lot of things for sale, but I don't have any idea what I could use any of it for. To make it look pretty. I've heard that one of the merchants here has some kind of deal with the Empire. I wonder what kind of person would do business with their enemy. He must be very brave or very greedy. All right, uh, I assume the kids... Ooh, this is a shady looking fella. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna be like that, huh? Can I, uh... Swipe? Swipe, swipe, swipe. Hey, we got 10 zenny. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, we're just looking for kids. Gotta be a kid around here somewhere. Have you all seen a child about year high? Childlike. Says child things. Smells like child. I wonder if um, I have to find them in order. You know what I mean? Like you have to find it from the hint that you got before. So they said towards the gate, right? Where would the gate be? At the entrance? I assume like over here somewhere? Down there? How do I get down there? This way? Oh, what's this? There's still a lot of damaged houses and all, but it's starting to look like a city again. Don't you think? I didn't see how it was before. Yo, who are you? This town was on the front line during the war, which means it's the perfect place to set up shop now that the war's over. Cool, okay. Cool. Oh, there. That must be him. Whoops! Looks like you found me. Sigh. If you're looking for Nama, she told me she was going to go hide on the stairs. Yep, okay. Hey, Ryan! How you doing, buddy? Welcome in. Fishing, I know, Clove. I can't wait to go fishing. It's been a while. Good to see you, Ryan. Today is a holiday, but I woke up for work. Great feeling and much better than the reverse. Oh, my God. Oh, was it one of those situations where you woke up thinking you had to go to work and then you remember that you don't have to go? Because that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Who raised these kids, Judas? <laughs> uh, we're looking for a staircase, okay. Oh, who's this guy? Wanna know how I got so skinny? I ain't got a sand flyer, so I had to cross the desert on foot. Alright, well. Good for you, I guess. Big crack in the wall here. 
Okay, so we're looking for stairs. There's a bunch of stairs all over the place. There's this one. There's this one. There's one here as well. One over here. Can't quite get a good look in there. Hang on. Yeah, I don't see anything from here. Maybe these stairs here? Yep, I think that's... Well, I can see something there, right? I didn't think you'd find me this soon. You probably won't be able to find Mordor so easily, though. You probably can't see him. Not even from the top of the bridge in the center of the town. That's an interesting hint. Center of the bridge. Okay. Uh, what's the quickest way back? This way, I guess? What is the center? Is this the center? Um, I don't think I do see it. Maybe the center of the bridge. So, like, this is the bridge? Um, I guess it could be a different bridge. I'm not sure. Yeah, if a kid rats me out uh, at hide and seek, they, they, they are coming to my birthday party. There's a lot of kids here not invited to your birthday party, Ryan. <laughs> you get him, man. Uh, I guess this is not the bridge? Oh, wait. Is that the kid? Drat! You got me. Okay, I'll tell you where Konoko is. From here, walk six... Oh, my God. Spec, can you help me out here? Six steps south. Then, 16 steps west. Then, north one step. After that, you have to walk west three steps. Then, south three steps. And then, west another four steps. That's where Kanako is. Did you get any of that? <laughs> Did you get any of that? Can you get a notepad for me? Let's do this properly. Alright, we've got south... Oh, wait, he's writing it out for us. South six. Uh, west 16. North 1, West 3, South 3, West 4. Yeah? Got it? Okay, so I, I need to figure out what North is. We have a, a thing at the top there. Which one's North? Is Orange North? So North is that way, right? Okay, so if I position this... Oh, who's this? Hang on. The town show takes a lot out of you when... With all the stairs. Alright, okay. So from here, we need to go where first? So up the stairs, I guess? Right? Okay, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One. Uh one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. One. Oh, I've done it wrong. Is it like through here? I think I fucked up somewhere. It was going well. Is it in this thing? Oh, there's a diary here, I should save. I was worried it's been a while. Yeah, let's try this again. Maybe I made a mistake. I can't believe that last kid gave us bloody coordinates. Oh. You got me! I'm, I must have missed the door. Have you found everyone yet? If you're not sure, you should go back and count how many of us you found. Yeah. Uh, you want to know about the princess who came visiting here? I don't know about that myself, but Lita might. 
She's the one to take care of the orphanage. Yeah, yeah. I guess this is if I come here first. Do you sell stuff? Hey, he does. Yo, he's got a scrum. He's got a scrum axe. I love scrum axes. Um, magic wand is just better. I want to equip. I do. Steel bat. Waist cloth. Oh, that's good too. Let me check what else they have. Glass domino. Yep. Soul gem. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to keep... I think I find one of these out in the wild, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to buy things. <clears throat> Don't need to equip that though. Oh wait, that cost a lot of money. Never mind. We're done. Trade. We don't want to trade. Uh, the reason why I bought that weapon, again, even though I have a better weapon on me, I know there's something in this game where quantity of items that you have matters. Like, unique quantity, I mean. Uh, we're heading back to the orphanage, right? I think it was over here. Scromax Axe! I think that's an Elden Ring boss. Oh, yeah? I wonder what it means. They're probably pulling from the same law. Um, it looks like there's one child still missing. It's Chino, isn't it? I suspected as much. As you know, he's very good at running and hiding from us. I've got a feeling I know where he is. I think he's gonna, yeah. Chino, he said he was gonna hide in the cellar or something. I think he's gonna hide where the monsters are. This town has a large number of underground rooms that are not currently in use. As you may know, during the war, we were the target of a hex attack. Although the city above ground has been purified, apparently the monsters still thrive underground. It's possible that Chino may have snuck past the guard and is hiding underground. Well, we'll go look for him then. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Good luck, and be careful. We're lucky to be able to get here, huh? Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, uh, before I continue, I think this might be the last portion of what I do. How long have I been streaming? Yeah, that seems about right. I'm gonna head out of this area first, if it allows me, so I can learn the extra ability first. Don't actually know if I can do it from here, but I'm gonna try. I can go down here. The link here for the woods. Okay. Camp here. Um, the master should be able to teach Nina haste. Once you have been able to combo attack with more than five hits, return here and I will teach you more. Yeah, so I've got to go back to him. And I don't know if I can do that right now, but I'm going to try. Uh, now, just making a joke, since the dragons all have similar names. All oh, right. Forty uh Lance Axe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's why I believed it, right? They all do have very similar names. Now, where did I find this bugger? Is it in Kurok? I think he's here. Charge. Oh, I haven't healed. I don't think it matters. Wrong! Very so cool. He fights with a massive log. A log! There he is. The world is full of fools. Oh, it is you. Well, how goes? He's just talking to himself? <laughs> Have you learnt more of the way of the magic? I see. That is most interesting. You are even better than I had hoped for. Very well, I will teach you Eddie. 
Oh, I guess I can... Who who will learn Eddie? Copy skill to skill crawl. Okay, so... Um, I feel like I should give it to Nina for now. Hey! Oh, Eddie's a wind attack. Bollocks! I should have given it to someone else. Combo attack with more than 10 hits. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's bail. Uh, I love when people like, I like, lol, you have Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, all these stands, not very creative. And it like, it means country or something. <laughs> it means, I think it means land. Yeah, yeah I think it just <laughs> means land. Hijabinji, huh? Hit it. Charge. Eh? I think in uh, Gundam, there's uh, an Azadistan in the Gundam universe, which I, I like the idea of. Though my name does mean freedom, so I guess it does like freedom land, it would be translated to. Alright, we did that. I did make a bit of a boo-boo by giving her a wind spell. She already has a wind spell. I should give wind to Ryu, I guess. In fact, let us make camp and do that. Because there might be some point where it'd be nice for him to have that as a combo. You know, you know, you know, you know. Switch skills, yes. Displays all the skills, displays a list of each character skill. There we go. Wind attack, remove from Nina, yes. Uh, I think she's fine with both of these for now. And then with Ryu, um... Oh, he did learn snooze. Yeah, induces sleep. Yeah, I think it's fine for him to have that for now. Command and risky blow. I think that's fine because they don't cost anything. And he doesn't have any. I don't want to quit. Now from the list of things, let's have a look. Eddie. Let's give that to Ryu for now. There we go. And then rest. Uh, Wolf Dude just reminded me of this as... Oh? Link. Oh, it's a link. I'll share it in the Discord. E. All links go in the Discord so I can ban your ass if I don't like it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Club's like, yeah, I've been there before. Can you show me? Oh, it's not there yet. Okay. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh, Yasuyuki, welcome into the Discord. I just saw you there pop in. Yokso. Alright, let's go and find this kid before we call it, eh? How will I ever sleep without finding the final snitch? What? One of the orphans went down there. <laughs> God. Why does that still look so weird? I mean, I know why it looks weird to me. I just, I don't like how thin the legs are. Okay, wolves shouldn't stand up like that. I mean, they, they should stand up, but they shouldn't dance like that. That's impossible. I've been standing here watching the entrance all day. Why are you saying that I'm not doing my job? Phew. I'm really thirsty now after all that shouting. I could sure use a drink right about now. Oh. Lady, can I have some of that water? Get your cool, cl clean water aside. I wonder if you'll buy water again today. Oh my god, is this really happening? Oh my god. We just slipped past him because he went for water. It quit. Yeah, you know, I'll drink to that. That was a really weird exchange. But we did save the game, didn't we? So if I die here, we're good. I love the artwork in this game. 
like the texture work for all of this stuff, right? Because like nowadays, if they were creating something like this, we would use like some really cool lighting effects to make some really good like lighting and shadows and effects. But I'm guessing in this one, given that it was on the PlayStation 1, all the cool lighting things were baked in. Can we just sleep here? Nope. Oh, there's monsters next to the bed. Never mind. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, it's a roach. Fantastic. Uh, this hungry rodent sna attacks all it sees with snap. Snap, I can learn. Takes to the air when seriously threatened. Cool. Um, guard. Come on, guys. You got this. Snap! Hey. Defense minus 20? Yo. Nina shouldn't have it. <laughs> I don't think Nina's my snapper. Whatever. Hello? Alright, shall we burn something? Oh, that's off. That's off. Oh. I kind of feel bad we just burning the roach on its own. Yeah, the wolf. <laughs> Apparently this wolf gets around. I mean, if it dances like that, I imagine it wouldn't take long. Alright, cool. Wait, is that a door over here as well, or is it just marking? No, it will show me visually like this. Okay. The music is so ominous. Think here, what about this one? Nothing here, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Um, let me try. Charge. You slapped that rat, Jesus Christ. I love the way Ryu's sword kind of shivers. <laughs> Looks really cool. So Nina's faster than the mouse, but the mouse is faster than the rest of my team. Oh, she learned Rejuvenate. Okay, great. Rejuvenate is a stronger healing spell. That will come in handy when I run out of apples. Check this out. Protein. There we go. Hopefully it's not one of those coffee protein things that Kiki bought a lot of. Oh, that sounds fucking disgusting, honestly. I don't think I need coffee in my protein bars. Can I climb up this way? No. What's this? Nothing. Okay. Um... I wonder why this didn't combo. I think it's because of the speed difference, maybe? Oh, maybe just because I did it in the wrong order. Is that too? Ban! Ooh! We use not looking too hot. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I love Urshan's cape. Dun, dun. All right, let me heal. I still feel like I should use up my apples. I wonder if I can manipulate these uh, boxes. I don't think I can. <clears throat> Since I think uh, Cray can push, I don't think he can pull. Oh, we are going deeper. Oh, we found him. There's a barrel caught in the door. You won't be able to get in. Uh, sorry, you won't be able to get it open while it's in the way. That way. Then how do I... Oh, maybe I need to go from the nearby one? I, I'm kind of confused. Oops, sorry. Okay. That's a sound. <laughs> Push maxing, exactly. Raptor claws! Those are for Urshin, I think. Yeah, Raptor Claws. That's exactly what I currently got equipped. We can sell it now. We did pick up Ice Punch and Flame Punch. This is important because we need to switch around depending on like the weakness of the thing that we're hitting. You know what I mean? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I advise maybe leaving it there. It's been a while. We probably shouldn't sleep on this thing, should we? No, okay, cool. Where am I? Interesting. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Poor rat. Well, this feels like it's a little bit overkill. <laughs> Probably fine. Honestly, this is probably where Spec would react if a roach was in the house. With eruption. <laughs> With fire and earth. Bramble. Hiya! Hiya! Pump pump. Good job, lads. I might need to farm for money. Uh, okay, so there's a way to fall down. This is, if this is directly from above, we don't want that one. We want this one. Oh, sneaky. They make it look like this one doesn't have a hole. Well, they don't do a fantastic job of that, but, you know. Hey, there he is. Drat, you found me. I thought no one would be able to find me here. Bum, 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 bum. All right then, Chino. Will you tell me about the princess now? Okay, a deal's a deal. When the princess... Did I tell you how pretty she was? Anyway, when she was getting ready to leave town... Oh, do we get a flashback sequence? I followed her. I ran after her. All the way to the gate. Oh, we get to see her from the back. When I got there, I saw these people come up and start talking to her. Oh yeah, they're shady. Oh, it's that shady fella with the, with the gown. <clears throat> and what looks like a pirate? What? Who was it? Who was there? Tell me. 
I don't really know. But one of them was Marlock, the shop owner. Marlock is a merchant who lives here in the town. He owns a large sand flyer of his own. Some people say he even has dealings with the Empire. The Empire? You mean Alina's been taken to the West? Excuse me, sister, but do you think you could tell us where we can find this Marlock? Marlock's got his big house right in the middle of town. He's got a bodyguard too, who stands in front of it. Looks like we should have a little talk with this Marlock. Thanks for your help. Alright, I already know which house this is because we ran into the bodyguard earlier on. I believe it was just around here. Yeah, that fella here. This house belongs to the mani magnificent Mar- What? You want to meet with Mr. Marlock? No way. Forget it. He doesn't meet with anyone but his business partners. If you're not selling or buying something, he won't see you. If you insist, you're going to have to go through me. Oh, fudge. I should have saved. <laughs> Did I heal? I don't think I healed. Oh, boy. Yo, what's with the music? The strong looking fighter is a master of focus. Interesting. Let me guard first. See if there's something I can learn from him. I think he is a master, actually. Shout. Uh, I will try one more. He's guarding. Interesting. Yeah, there we go. Focus. Oh, that's definitely a useful move. I need to teach that to, like, Ryu or something. I don't think Nina needs a tack up. Uh, let's try it one more time, just to see if there's anything extra. Alright, uh, let's make him regret his decisions in life. Uh, who shall we start with? Hit him with all the all the magic. Yo, he has so much neck. Hooey. I wonder what he's saying. He sounds like he's saying something in Katakana, right? Do I want to buff? I don't think I do. You know what? This might be calling it after this fight. That's aura up. Because I think he's getting stronger every time he focuses, right? So I think he's going to start hitting me really hard soon. Let's not underestimate him. Bum, 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 bum. Good idea. Where is my liquid? Uh, a strawberry tea is nice. Um, let me have a look. I guess I could try flame striking him. I wish I could lower his attack. Oh, wait. I can lower his attack. I have snap. Wild shot. Ooh. Let's Ah, that didn't work. Hiya! Oh, it did kind of work. Defense minus four. Wait, why is it defense minus four? 
And that's kind of what I wanted to go for, but whatever. Is that focus? Yeah, it's her focus. Um, let's try blind. I uh, just had an eight. Felt relaxed and lighter after the uh, after the deed. Yo, no cleanup. Good volume came out easily. Congratulations, username. An eight is fantastic. <laughs> Close happy about it too. Uh, I it's so fun so far. I'm having a good time. It's nice to have a game with this kind of uh, slower pace amongst the other games that I generally play. You know. if we just punch see how much that does and then maybe like maybe like maybe like maybe like maybe like uh put up some defense i don't know he's guarding i think that means if i physically attack him like this he's gonna hit me back no, don't bring me into this. <laughs> I'm just saying, Clover, it just seems like, you know, you're in support of this. This is good. How did you become such an accepting and loving person? I don't know if I am. Would you describe me as an accepting and loving person, Spec? Oh, Spec's nodding as well. Fuck. Um, uh, uh, trauma. Spec says, tra <laughs> Spec says trauma. <laughs> I think... Um, uh, I don't have a good answer. Becky, you need to answer this for me. <laughs> Speck's like, I don't even think you are loving and caring. I don't know. I think you're a bit of a dick. Wow, Speck, I can't believe you said that. Do this one instead. Does becoming more accepting include becoming tolerant of intolerance? Such as racism, those uh, that uh, justify violence? I don't know. I don't think it, I don't think um, I'm more tolerant of those things at all. And I don't think becoming more tolerant of those things is a good idea. Specifically, racism and things similar of that kind of kid, you know? Oh, we fucked him up. I agree, Smack. <laughs> I, I didn't make you. The fuck should I know? <laughs> I think um, being patient with just, um, like for me, it comes from a place of just, I've made so many mistakes in my life and I have had so many, I don't know. I think I've had some wonderful teachers in my life and I've had some hard lessons. And I think I'm just in a phase of my life where, um, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to put it down to one thing. I think, I don't know if I'm more accepting or just whether or not I am generally just more patient, I guess. I've always grown up around children. Um, I've always been one of the youngest in the family. So I've had lots of examples before me. I have experienced a lot of uh, discrimination when I'm traveling, growing up at home. And it has made me very weary and tired of humanity in general. It's one of the reasons why I don't really use social media very much, because I get very fatigued. And I think it's because I just have enough of it. I don't know. I generally am slow to anger. I think it could also be one of those things where I've just seen so much of it that um, I don't want to be part of it. I don't want to perpetuate it. I don't know. Uh, I have attempted to be more accepting throughout my entire life, but I cannot feel any compassion or sympathy for those that find themselves to be right no matter what. Fair. Uh, that are ignorant, are convinced they are superior to everyone that is different from them. Yeah, it, that, that often irks me as well, using him. How does one even interact with someone that justifies hatred and violence? How do you interact with those that widely wanted to harm you? I'm sorry you had to go through that. No, it's fine. It, it is what it is. I don't mean fine as in that it was okay that it happened, but... um. It's tough using it. I don't think there's a good way of dealing with it. I think there's worse ways to deal with it as well. I think for me, for my two cents on the subject, you know, I think that um, I grew up in a culture and a family who in their generation, so the generations before me, let's say my father's and his father, right? I think racism was even more profound in the area that we grew up in. 
Not to say that I didn't experience my fair share, right? But it was harder for them even. And I've seen the effects that that has on people and how much malice, bitterness, um, literal poison, how it seeps into people and how they're so quick to make sweeping generalizations of an entire group or people or skin based on the actions of, you know, the rowdy few or whatever. Um, or even if it is majority, I guess, I don't know. And I don't know, I don't have any space in my heart anymore for that kind of stuff. Uh, not to say that I'm immune to it, because I don't think any one person is made up of one part. I don't think we can be. I think we're made up of multiple parts of us. So there is a part of me that is very intolerant to those things. There's a part of me that is impatient, compulsive, and angry. But there's also a bunch of other parts, you know? And most of the time, those other parts are in control. But there will be times where I don't have control and I'll flip a table. I'm just hoping that when those times happen, that I'm in the safety of people who are patient with me and allow me to work through it. Does that make sense? Like, I don't think anyone is any one way. I think we all have the makeup of all of these things, but some people um, have a louder version of that part than other people do, you know? I mean, there's a phrase about feeding a specific wolf inside of you. I think that is, there's something to that, where I, I think there are multiple wolves. I don't think there's just the two wolves. I think you've got like a, a whole pack, a horde, a family of wolves with inside of you, and each one of them wants a seat at the table. And depending on the situation, that's what the food is, I guess. Uh, I live uh, in a closed-minded part of the world, and I have no choice but to interact daily with those that are hateful and justify violence. I don't know how to interact with them without losing my shit, yeah. I wish I was slow to anger like you, so I was thinking how you deal with it right. I can drop the subject if it is disturbing. Or so no, you're good. I just want to consult you since you seem like a peaceful person t uh, to me. Whilst I am a peaceful person, the anger that overwhelms me when interacting or even thinking about those people, no matter how close they are to me, clouds my judgments. First thing, in my opinion, and anyone is free to jump in on this to give advice. Like, I don't think I am um, qualified, I'll say, to, to like tell people what to do. So it's always going to be an opinion based and everyone is a little bit different, right? First thing, I wouldn't give yourself such a hard time for reacting or not reacting in the way that you do or don't. I think that we all react in a way that makes sense given the circumstances of the way that we either we were raised or how we've survived thus far. You know what I mean? Like you have reacted the way that you've got to this point in your life, you survived, you're still here. And whatever decisions that you've made, whether or not you logically think of them as good or bad, they have led to you to continue surviving to this very day, like fight or flight. So in a situation where there's parts of you chemically, because we are a bag of chemicals, basically, right, um, that have brought you to this point and you react in a way that you don't think is the best way to react, your body doesn't care of your opinion of what you think is the right or wrong way. Your body works on what has happened and what it knows. There's a thing in our body, in our system, you know, the whole fight and flight thing. There's a reason why these things happen on an instinctual level. They happen on an instinctual level because if it was up to you to think about it, you would have died already as a species. So things just happen a little bit out of your control, if that makes any sense. So first thing is like, I wouldn't be too hard on yourself for reacting or not reacting in a specific way that you think would ought to be better or worse. Second thing, I would try to be more understanding towards yourself first. Why do you react in that way? Why does it boil your blood? Why does it cloud your judgments? You know, take your time with it. There's no rush. Just think it through. And if you don't know why, I would attempt to make a reason and try to speak to yourself inwardly about it. Like, why would someone be agitated by this reaction? And just see whether or not it makes any sense to you internally. Like, maybe it's because it upset you when you were younger, or maybe it's because you feel the intolerance um, somehow makes this world bleaker. If some of this stuff makes sense to you inwardly, then you know you're on the right track. And it makes sense that it makes you feel uncomfortable. And don't neglect, or what's the word, don't underestimate what it's like to be surrounded by the same poison day in, day out. You are not immune to it. Like it will, it seeps into you and it festers you and it clouds you. If you, doesn't matter what it is as a human being, if you have repetition in your life, that is a type of pain, that is a type of, um, how do I word it? Pollution. It's gonna wear you down. And the only way that I've managed to deal with some of that stuff to a degree is to try to balance myself with other things. You know what I mean? Like, that's one of the things where, like, um, people talk about, I know this might be a bit of a tangent, living and working in a city versus a countryside. 
And oftentimes it's not unusual to find that people prefer one or the other, given their history. Like to me, I love being away from all the bus busyness. I don't like crowds, so I like the countryside and the whatnot. But I, I miss the convenience of being in a city. It, it kind of goes back and forward. And it's one of those things where like you have to find a balance. You have to find a balance and it's easier said than done. I feel like I didn't make any good points then. I was just mumbling. Is a double-edged sword not feeling much for people you care, of, uh, you care about? Can be pretty damaging at times, sure. Oh, sorry, I read your previous comment. My, uh, is that I've grown apathetic. I've grown to just care less, right, for better or for worse. I was raised being told that I overreact to everything, so I think in order to cope, I just kind of stop reacting at all. That makes perfect sense to me, Wills, and I'm sorry you had to go through that, right? Like, there was a reason why you reacted the, the way that you did, and it's other people's coping me mechanisms, which I feel like they've just put you on your shoulder, Wills. Like, because they don't um, care as much as you do, apparently you shouldn't care either, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that was kind of forced upon you. So it makes sense that you've grown apathetic to survive in that environment that you're in. Like, what, what has it served you to tell people openly in wh where you're supposed to be free and feel safety to voice your opinion that it wasn't welcome, you know what I mean? So I'm sorry you had to go through that. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. I'm still told that I care too much. And I'm too sensitive to this. So yeah, calling people sensitive is very much like a knee-jerk reaction to people who don't have a good answer for you. I honestly wish I didn't care as much. It's a double-edged sword, not feeling much for people you care about can be pretty damaging as well. It's one of those things, isn't it, Wills? Like, when you suppress emotions, I feel like you, you kind of blanket suppress a lot of other things at the same time, even the highs, which is very frustrating. Like, it's very hard to control that valve, that gauge. You could find a community of like-minded people that will confirm and nurture your unaccepted parts. That helps, for sure. I also tend to almost entirely interact with much older people, elderly people, so they can be set in their ways, as they say, so the vast difference in human rights beliefs can be jarring and even scary to deal with 100%. And I think, again, a little bit of understanding goes a long way. For me, my, again, my generation of my father, his father before him, they had vastly different experiences and life growing up. And so it makes sense to me that they have some of these, like, really, man, set in their ways, as you put it ways i don't agree with them but i can kind of see how they've developed into that way for similar reasons why will developed a more apathetic thing because they had to do that to survive or at least they believe they had to do that to survive in the world that they grew up we all learn these lessons on like a micro and macro level that governs like the way that we interact with the outside world and with other people I'm not saying that it's right obviously i'm just saying that it doesn't come from nowhere there is usually a root source for all of this Uh, so is that what I am meant to do in order to survive, get by? Uh, hide how I feel, control my reactions. I see someone harming someone else. Should I just walk away or say some, say nothing? That's completely up to you, username. That's your boundary to call. And that's your, like, how far you're willing to go. Does that make any sense? Like, depending on what it is, for you to hold your feelings back or control your reactions, as you put it, might benefit you in short terms or for smaller interactions, right? But there's always going to be a line where it's just too much for you. And I wouldn't ask you to overstep that and pull back even further. But you've got to find out where you're comfortable in that space. And again, I'm not an expert in this at all. Uh, calling you sensitive is also their defense mechanism because they refuse to accept that some of the uh, irritants issues are on them, not on you. Yeah, yeah it's just, just passing on blame. I'm more wondering about how to deal with these people, particularly those that I am forced to deal with. Having forced to deal with them username is part of the problem. There's not much you can do about that because what is your intent? When you talk about dealing with them, you can't change them. You know this. Humans are very much set in their ways. You can educate. And I do believe that people are very malleable, malleable sorry, and, and, are, and can grow and change. I do believe that. I do believe that. But I don't think that you're in a position to force that on other people in the context of what you're talking about. Uh, we don't have a solution username. We all decide for ourselves where our line is, yeah. What we are willing to sacrifice and when. I just don't understand. I never understand, even as a child, why so many people are hell-bent on spreading justifying hatred and violence. Honestly, again, I think a lot of it comes from just survival. Um, some people feel very justified in that way. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? When people are very justified in that way 
of like fucking um spreading hatred and stuff there's a kind of energy that they feed off of, off of it you know what i mean and maybe they're surrounded by other people who have the same kind of energy and that can be very reassuring do you know what i mean we're very social communi- community based creatures where if we see other people nodding in agreement to us we feel safer and more secure and if someone's bringing an opinion that is other our knee jerk reaction is to kind of like check how everyone else is reacting or pointedly disregard it because we want to be part of the whole. I don't know. There's many reasons. I'm, I'm kind of simplifying, generalizing a bit. Hey, Didi! It's a stream after work, Pog. I'm sorry, Didi. We might be stopping soon, but it's good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Welcome in, man. How are things? There are a myriad of reasons. Superiority, uh, general, gener, general, uh, sorry, generational trauma. In some cases, even culture. Yep. I'm not trying to change anyone. It's just that uh, when you when you are told you are wrong all the time, you doubt yourself. So I start to wonder how the hell do uh, how the hell do you interact with these people that don't even pretend to respect other people people's way of life with perspective or even food choices. Yeah, and doesn't that make sense that you doubt it? Just exactly from what I said, those people are surrounding you have told you something that you know isn't true in your heart, but you start to doubt. That doubt again, don't be hard on yourself. That doubt comes from a stemming of just wanting to survive. Of course, you want to doubt. Because then you want to be accepted. You want everyone to be accepting of one another. So you all feel safe. And people who surround themselves with people who think the same end up thinking even more extreme eventually because it's like an echo chamber. Exactly. Yeah, clothes right. And again, we're all talking like um, there's always going to be exceptions and caveats to what we're talking about, right? Like it, context is absolutely king in what we're talking about. What I'm saying to you as advice might not be applicable in a very specific circumstance with a very specific group of people. Like when I talk about people can change, I've got very something specific in mind. For example, if I'm thinking about my grandfather, hell no, you know? There was no changing that man from like everything that he's experienced to like the World War II to the partition in India, Pakistan. After everything that he's experienced and moved, I, that he was so set in his goddamn ways and however life churned him out, you know, and given the context of his life is what I'm trying to say. But other people like children and even people who maybe haven't um, traveled very much or met other people from other communities i believe those people can change just with more exposure and more education education is a powerful one because i feel like teaching people more ways of like hey it's not only this way and that way there's also these other ways that you haven't thought about you know what i mean again context Right and wrong difference from person to person. How do you know when you're right? I don't know. Sometimes I don't use a name. In the moment, there's so many times um, post a decision, post something that I've said that I've regretted it or even like in a lighter way, I've cringed or s- wished that I had said something in a better way, you know? I'm sure some of this stuff that I'm saying right now, in an hour or two, I'll be like, oh man, I wish I said this instead or I wish I put it, worded it a bit better than I did, you know? I think that's human nature. I think as long as you can take a step back in on yourself and try to be honest about yourself, that can kind of help. And friends, good friends, can help you step away from yourself sometimes. There's no objective, uh, objective correctness here. How would you approach someone that justifies violence, hatred? Not necessarily talking about changing their mind, but how to interact with them. I would probably make a boundary. I would probably make a boundary and word it as like, I don't feel comfortable with their stance. And I, if I can't change them, I just wouldn't want to be around them when they are, as long as they're not taking my hand physically and making me do what they think is justified. Does that make any sense? How to live with them? You can't. <clears throat> it's tough. I've lived in a household full of people who have a completely different way of life to me in a sense or have different morals, right? And in a house like that, uh, you are the one in minority. So by definition, you're the crazy one in some instances. Again, it's just context, right? Just about child abuse, yeah. If they think that that's what the child deserves it, yeah. That's a tough one using him. Because I'm not a parent, but I've definitely been around parents where I don't agree with the ways that they raise the child or discipline them. And I don't know what the answer is because it's not my child how others believe that because someone wronged them with their words that is the right thing to do and hurt them physically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fucked up. How the fuck are you meant to interact with these people or coexist peacefully? You don't. Not peacefully, anyway. 
as long as you try to act honest with your core values and in a way that doesn't hurt anyone else or acts ma uh, maliciously, I think you're doing a very good job. Yeah, you try your best with the situation is with what you've got using him and trying to protect that core thing that Shaggy said is very important until your circumstances can put you in a situation where you don't have to interact with these people. Because you mentioned it multiple times using him. You're using the word forced to interact. You know what I mean? Like my my knee jerk reaction to you being like, "Oh, hey, how would you inter like how would you deal with these people?" I wouldn't. I'd get the fuck out. I would leave. And I'm not telling you to do that. Like your circumstances are your own. You make your own decisions. And I know probably like it gets murky when we're talking about family, friends, generations of people, um, fear, finances, etc. But I would fucking leave. I would feel very strongly about that because it's encroaching on your freedom and I feel incredibly strongly about freedom. Uh, these people believe stopping them from harming someone is an ill so Yeah, sure. I don't think I'm ever going to be in a position where I don't interact with these people. You, know, you don't know using them. <clears throat> I'm not saying, um, you know, things are going to be honky-dory in the future and you just got to keep your chin up or anything like that. I am, by f I am like the worst optimist you'll ever meet. But I will say that, like, even just looking at the five years off the earth, not even just your own personal life, there's been so many twists and turns that I would never have thought was going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, even thinking about COVID, I didn't think that was ever going to happen. And you never know what's going to happen in your situation, in your circumstances. I do think it's important to lean towards uh, a goal, not because that goal should be like, oh, hey, if I get to this point, everything will be fine. But you should always have something to work towards. In your situation, honestly, bro, I would just be working towards making my, my place a more safer place to be. And if that means that you can't be with those people that don't provide a safe place, then as far as I'm concerned, I would fucking get out. That's... I know that, again, is easier said than done, but that would be my knee-jerk reaction. Uh, but I can't and I couldn't, so I'm wondering how to live with them since you have experience with this. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's my, my experience and my, my, uh, my answer. I would just fucking bail. I would, uh, I would marry a spec. I would surround myself with people um, whose morals I agree with. Um, and I would start streaming on Twitch. I think... Those those three things, one after the other, I think th then you'll be golden. <laughs> I'm also conversing. It just hits close to home is all, as they say, yeah. I'm sorry for being depressed. No, not all using them. You're good. Don't worry about it, buddy. I really genuinely hope things get better for you, man. Just wanted to see uh, what someone wiser, more sensible and respectable than myself would do. And then you ask me? That's weird, using them. I wish more people were like you. I appreciate it. I it's it's a tough one using him. There's not going to be a an easy answer to give you. And I'm sorry that my answer is literally just get the fuck out because I know it's easier said than done. I know it's easier said than done. I know that. Um, but I can't emphasize more how you can't change, you know, the properties of rock in this regard. The best you can do is take care of yourself in this circumstance. I don't. I'm not the type of person who, like, I, I don't think you should get bitter, get vengeance in your eyes, or try to, like, I don't know. You've got to protect yourself in some regard, otherwise you will just go down a spiral in on yourself, you know what I mean? And you've got to learn to, like, take care of yourself spiritually, in a sense. It's it's really hard. Thank you, Usenim. I, 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 I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you again. It's like a 9.5 out of 10 human. Thanks, Will. That's really, that's a good shit amount of human, man. I have to go appreciate your patience, tolerance, and kindness. No worries using it. You're always welcome here, buddy. And that hopefully will help balance out some of the stuff. I'm trying, man, but since getting uh, the fuck out isn't an option, I'm trying to coexist as peacefully as I can. Yes. Then the best thing you can do in that regard is trying to find the little tiny corners of sanity for yourself. Whether that could even be within a video game or communicating with us or just spending some time out or going fishing. Whatever the fuck you need, you try to provide for yourself the best you can. Yeah, of course. And I, and I appreciate everyone else chiming in as well. Because, again, I'm not qualified for this. You're welcome. I try. Surround yourself with people who you admire. Surround yourself with people who help you grow into more of the person that you want to be. Find them. They exist somewhere out there. And no one's perfect. 
we're all incredibly human painfully human and that goes towards like our sensibilities and what makes us feel safe um i always thought just like talking about problems was um pointless because talking about stuff doesn't do anything but we're humans and it's incorrect talking through things um being heard being seen is incredibly profound and powerful because we're human it's okay to be cringe. There we go. Can we, can we add quote that, please? Thank you, Wills. I, I should have just said that at the beginning. God damn it. Wills managed to condense the whole thing into a simple sentence and an emote. Thank you, Wills. GG. Nailed it. Oh, yeah, and get a cat. There we go. <laughs> it's okay to be cringe. Get a cat. <laughs> it worked! Sometimes it works, Gin. I swear to God, sometimes it works. <laughs> it's okay to be cringe, get a cat. That's gonna be my motto from now on. <laughs> Winter cool, yes! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, sorry, let me get out of here. We'll do a bit of fishing, then we'll call it. I am Marlock. You are wanting to see me, yes? Am I not clicked over here? Oh, whoop. Oh, my controller turned off. <laughs> well then, come inside so that we can talk. See, that's how my controller dealt with all this. It just turned itself off. Sometimes it's important to turn yourself off. What? A Wendayan princess, you say? Now that you mention it, I did carry a person who looks at on my sand flyer. What did you do with her? No, no, my little birdie, you misunderstand. I was asked to take her to the west, you see. Listen, mister, you'd better start making sense, and fast. Tell us exactly what happened, now. There is nothing to tell. The Empire asked the princess to come to the capital. Oh my god! What the? Why would Alina go there, huh? What reason would she have to go to the heart of the enemy's country? Oh my god, the pixels are interacting. You are asking the wrong person, eh? Besides... I am thinking that you will be wanting my help in looking for the princess, no? If that is so, then I think you should be a little more polite, eh? Well, if you are wanting my help, I am not an unreasonable man. But before I help you, I need you to do some work for me. Oh, fuck. So he wants us to go catch some thief, huh? Merchants. They can't think about anything but money. We're trying to find a missing princess. And he sends us off to find his missing money? What does he think we are, anyway? Handymen or something? Wait, where's Nina? Urshin reminds me that we were responsible for the loss of his bodyguard. And she says that it is unrealistic to expect someone like Marlock to provide us with services for no cost. Yeah, well, I guess you've got a point. Still, I think it's asking a little much to have us leave Nina behind like that. She's a princess herself, not a maid. Oh, that's... oh boy. I guess we shouldn't go fishing? Um, Mr. Marlock... What exactly is it that you, uh, want me to do? Um, well, until your friends come back with the items that were stolen from me, I was thinking that maybe you could work around here, you know, help take care of the house and me. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like what he's insinuating. Oh, God. Well, anyway, we should probably think of what to do next. We don't have our healer. 
I have been told that we should find the thief as quickly as possible, that we may return and continue on our mission without further delay. Alright then. Let's go and ask some of those travelling merchants if they know anything about this thief. Alright, fuck, maybe we should call it here then. Uh, let me head out to the area and just see what we where we are. Oh, there is a place we can go to. What is this? Hideout? Weird. Okay. I don't have, like, another fishing spot, which upsets me greatly. Hmm. I don't even know when's the last fishing spot we had, because I think I've only had one fishing spot. That's kind of lame. So I might need to look them up. The last one was, like, down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. You know what? Let's do, like, a couple of little uh, fishing spots and then head off. Just because I kind of felt like doing a bit of fishing. Big ones can be found near the waterfall. We did do this one already, though. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. We do from here? Hmm, I don't like the camera from this point of view. I don't think we can quite get to the waterfall from here. Oh, maybe from this? Oh, this looks good. Oh, that's not... Hang on, sorry. There we go. Alright, we got there in the end. I've forgotten how you do this. <laughs> so, hiya. Uh-huh, that's good. Let's try again. Hiya. I've forgotten everything. Hey, we did technique two somehow. <clears throat> oh, oh, Booker, how do you do this again? Oh, we caught it. I'm really good at this, apparently. Sweet fish. Oh. Come on. Come on, he's so close, he's so close. Give me my frog, give me my frog. Hey. Jellyfish. Alright, I think that satisfied me. <laughs> we need a definitely a new spot one of these. I might need to go through the tutorial next time we uh, we set one of these up. I don't know whether or not I preferred the fishing game in Breath of Fire 3 to this one. 3 was really fun. Alright, and then I'm going to save up at the top so I don't forget for the next time. I do intend to stream this again soon. Oh, let me think. Um, I want to stream tomorrow, but I don't know if tomorrow is going to be an art stream or a Breath of Fire 4 stream. I'm going to wing it. I'll see how I feel. But it would be nice to do more art. He says that one should never deal lightly with a businessman like Marco. I was prepared to do anything. Pay any price if it meant getting Ellen back. But I wasn't prepared for this. Alright, we'll rest here. Alright, thank you for joining me everyone. This has been a lot of fun. I'm excited to continue Breath of Firing and seeing where we head off next. <laughs>